I have not touched this controller in like two weeks, and I'm surprised because it's at full bars. Like, usually things like half dead or something like that. Anyways, hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, man, machine. Oh shit! Really? <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. So that's how we're starting this off. All right. Mm-hmm. Let me just get my ass up here. And do my intro. <laughs> Unexpected, right? Oh, what the fuck happened? Why did my bitrate just go down? Oh no! Twitch, what are you doing? Besides everything you're supposed to do to make the platform better. Let me make sure my internet connection is not being stupid because I ain't. Hold up, let me refresh this. Bitrate, why did you go bad? Bitrate, why are you in the red? Why are you doing this to me? You never do this to me. You stay in the green or you just fucking turn off without warning, you piece of shit. What? Oh my god. What's going on already? You come back to stream and, and everything just goes to shit, you know? Come on, Bitrate. What are you doing? Why are you in the red? What, what happened? My settings are the same. I checked it. Like Santa Claus, I made a list, and I chuck it twice. Trying to find out who was naughty or nice. This really, this really is giving me, like, anxiety right now. So can we, can we, like, not? Can we not do this right now, please? Oh my fucking god, I'm so mad now. <laughs> Bit rates in the red. But the, but the stream doesn't seem to be doing too bad. I mean, eh. Quality's going down a bit, yeah, because it's in the red. What the fuck is going on here? All right, whatever. Let's do my intro real quick. <clears throat> Anyways, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, man machine, everything within between. To more Batman. I was about to say Arkham Asylum. Arkham Knight. Night Nightmare playthrough. 100% thing. Whatever. Whatever the fuck this is. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Anyways, where we last left off, I don't know. That was like, what, two weeks ago? <laughs> Uh, we did some story shit. I don't even remember what the last thing was. Um, did we see Harley yet, or are we on our way to Harley? The plan's not I don't, the night's I don't so remember. Tell me what we're doing. Tell me what we're doing, Batman. What are we doing? Destroy Arcanized defenses in Founders Island. Allow Batwing to scan for cloud burst. Oh yeah, we should do that. You know, Priority. we should do that. Get that out the way, right? Yeah, but, um, it's the scan for Cloudburst. What the fuck are they even talking about? I thought we already knew what the hell Cloudburst was. But anyways, uh, we did some, we did some Batman shit. And then, and then, uh, I went to do some, uh, I don't know, side quests or some shit like that. Which brings me to, uh, a big ol', a big ol', uh, questionable thing. Questionable? I don't even know what the hell I'm saying. Which brings me to the topic I want to talk at hand right now. Uh, I I kind of underestimated how much bullshit you have to do to uh, have like nightfall protocol happen. And by underestimate it, I mean I just I just honestly think it would be boring if you sat here and watched me take down like a bunch of militia fucking um, groups for like two hours. So. What the hell? Why is that? Guess I just like hop on it, right? Like this dick. Get up on that. There you go. But yeah. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do off screen is I'm gonna take out some of the militia stuff, right? Probably not the roadblocks though, because I think those are actually pretty fun. So <laughs> So I guess you guys will have to watch that, but like the, uh, the watch points and stuff, like they're all pretty much the same. There's nothing really different for that. So there's really no point in making you guys fucking sit through that because it would be the same thing as making you sit through me and collect a shit ton of Riddler trophies. And that would be fucking boring, right? And this is a playthrough and it's going to have to go up on YouTube at some point. Excuse me? Am I getting invisible to wall? 
What the fuck? Why? You won't let me. Why? I can't. Batman? I can't run. Why can't I run, Batman? Batman? I can't use my grappling hook. Batman? What are you doing to me? Oh my god, are you serious? I can't. I can't do anything. I'm pressing. This is me, right? Tapping the hit button. Am I supposed to be doing something? Oh, maybe I'm supposed to be doing something. Hold up. Hacking device. I need to destroy the radar before the drone. Oh, there we go. <laughs> why? Why do you gotta hard lock me like that? What the hell? Anyways, yeah. Cause last time when I was doing like the uh, the story mode and shit. I was like, oh, this is going by pretty fast, and if I do it too fast, then we're just going to be here with a bunch of fucking side quests, and that's going to be boring to watch, right? So, I did say last time that we were going to go after Two-Face, so let's go beat his ass up, right? It is time he was brought to justice. I couldn't have said it better myself, Alfred. What else did we do last time? Oh yeah, we uh, saw the man bat. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Alright, alright Joker. Haha, <laughs> you got me. Actually, you really didn't, but you know, you got me. Haha, <laughs> by the way, I'm hearing... I'm hearing opera music. So there's a dead body somewhere, and I just gotta use my brain and find it. Is it? Is it just on the other side of this building? Is it literally just up here? Where the fuck? Oh, is it down here? Found it. We can add a third victim to the list. This is becoming rather ghastly, sir. It brings to mind a spate of murders at the Oh, my bitrate's green again. It was Yay! Then, if I'm not mistaken. Turned Thank you, Twitch, for not ruining me. If I recall. I'm going to try even though... The body. Even though you don't really care about your creators if they're not making millions of dollars for you. Every fucking week. Alright. What you got going on here, dude? An irregularity on the victim's chest. It appears to be a birthmark. Quite distinctive. A birthmark? It looks like fucking some scaly shit's going on there, you know what I mean? Anything on your fingers? No? In your head? Solar plexus? Something? I'm not that blind. Come on. Oh, here we go. There's a bullet lodged deep in the upper bicep. This type of ammunition is predominantly used with a hunting rifle that hasn't been manufactured in oh, a Oh, someone had a hunting accident. That's not good. The left foot is missing several toes. The site of amputation suggests the removal of non-viable tissue in the treatment of frostbite. Alfred, I've ID'd the victim as Robert Kincaid. He was a microbiologist who worked for Stag Enterprises. Many believe the shooting was Is the Batman good for Gotham? I don't know. Research, although that remains unverified. He took a teaching post in Atlanta, which is where he was reported missing. That's three victims, all of them abducted in various places around the country. Keep looking for a connection. Oh, we're at three victims? The writing by the body suggests I guess we found two already. Yeah, that was another thing I kind of underestimated, which is why I also want to do a little bit of shit off screen because um I gotta go and look for these bodies again. I thought the locations just kind of got saved, right? I mean, the locations are still the same, but I personally don't remember where the fuck they are. So um yeah, off screen I'm probably gonna have to go searching for them. Now where the fuck? We were heading towards the bank, all right? Time to save the people's money. Time to save my money. My money's in that bank. 
Hold it right there, Two-Face. I don't know why I pressed the punch button. This is it, the biggest bank in Gotham. Let's set a record tonight, boy. All right. So I think it was last stream or whatever where I was having a lot of trouble with the bank or some shit because I was just like fucking going for it, <laughs> not thinking about it. Let's try not to do that uh, again, right? Because that was embarrassing as shit. All right, what we got just going like on here? Yours, these thugs can't hear a thing over the alarms. I'll hit them as hard as I can. Yeah, I'll hit them as hard as I can, but I also got to make sure I get like, a good angle on things. Um, I wish I had a, oh, here we go. There we go. Wait, what? I couldn't do a takedown. I wanted to do a takedown, but I couldn't do it. Is that what? Okay, there we go. I'm doing it. I'm Batman. I'm doing a great job. No, you don't. No, I'm not. No, you won't. No, I'm not. Uh, smoke bomb. I'm taking at least one out. Bye, bitches. Uh. Guess I'll get this guy. Boom. Got a couple more. Man, you guys are grabbing a lot of fucking money like real fast. Jesus. Come this way? Nope, oh, going that way. I love these grates. No, I'm not. Stop it. Shit, he blew up the grate. Oh, damn it. You should have let us be, Batman. But here you are. Make sure there's no guy behind me. This guy's coming down here. Try and cut him off. Nope. Guys are almost at like what quarter of a mil? Damn it. Where's the There you go, I gotta get up there. They don't really give me a good angle up here, by the way. Don't shoot. There we go. All of you out. Oh, that guy has a fucking a goddamn what you call it detective jammer thing. Bring us his yeah, so this is the fight with Two Face. It's just a standard take out the thugs, right? Now I'm gonna use my remote hacking. No, not remote hacking. Disable thingy. And get this guy. Oh my god, my aim sucks. There we go. Oh, 
Oh, it doesn't disable it? Are you serious? Damn it. Alright. So we have some camouflage motherfuckers. That's the guy I need to take out over there. I just need him. You know what? Fuck it. Stop playing it cautious. Play it smart. Right? Where's my... Oh. I don't have any smoke. <laughs> hey, you. Yeah, you. I'm talking it. Why can't I... I can't misdirect him. He's not wearing a headset. He's not wearing a headset, and it wouldn't make sense because Two-Face is right there. <laughs> I was just going to be like, hey, you, go go check that over there. Something spooky's happening in that corner. Come on, buddy, just go. Just go. Stop checking the corner. Stop being cautious. Be like me. Be stupid. Oh, my God, and this motherfucker's, like, right behind him, too. Turn this corner. Don't even check it. Just turn it. There you go. Oh my god, stop following him! I fucking... Alright, you know what? You're gonna follow him. You're gonna follow him, you're not gonna be able to shoot, alright? Because I'm not dealing with your bullshit. And inverted takedown. What's up, loser? All right. Problem solved. Now I can see. Oh, there's another guy with the radio jammer type thing. Hey, you, you should come over this grate. You should walk over this grate right here. Right here. Yeah, there you go. Nope, ain't nothing down there. You're damn right it's not. I can't take you out. I can't use a takedown on you. Fuck that. Oh! Fuck you, Two-Face. <laughs> oh, shit! I'm the Batman, damn it! Get your ass in the grate. Alright. This guy is not alone, and he's in a pretty good position. Hi, it's me, the Batman. It's me, the Batman. You should shoot that gun. There you go. Oh, who has a fucking signal? Oh my god. You piece of shit. Who is it? It's you? It's you. You motherfucker. Um. Oh yeah, by the way, Two-Face is... Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Two-Face is just knocked out. Down there. That's all you have to do. Just take him out. Wait, is that him down there? He's somewhere. Somewhere near some steps. Where is Two Face? I took him out. Unless, <gasps> unless there's a medic. Are you a medic? You're a medic. On, you oh shit! Whoa. Die! Totally forgot that they had medics. Oh my god, you're a medic too, right? Yeah, you are. Wait, is that, is that Two-Face over there just through the floor? Oh, shit. <laughs> That's supposed to be Two-Face. Oops. All right. Yeah, go check for casualties. Smart thing to do. Be a smart guy. Oh, they broke my fucking... 
Fuck you. All right, who's left? Oh! Can't argue with the call. Didn't expect that to happen. I didn't. I didn't know that they saw me. That was pretty. That was pretty interesting. <laughs> Oops. I didn't even realize I was like that low on health. Tales you lose, Batman. All right. And these guys will make sure. Bring us his corpse. All right. This time, let's remember that no medics exist. The sound of my attacks. I need to be quiet. Because I forgot they even existed. Um. Hmm. How do I want to do this? With my smoke pellet, right? If two medics are hanging out together, which they are not. We also have two radio jammers. I know you're there, old friend. Don't worry about me. Come on. What's up, Two-Face? Bye, Two-Face. How did you not hear that? <laughs> Who's standing around? I saw something move under the floor. You saw nothing move under the floor. Smoke pellet, go. Watch who's back while who gets fixed up. I'm with you. Where? Oh, that guy. Hmm. Yeah, let's. Oops. Yeah, let's not have that happen. Put you right over there. Now I got these two. Fucking idiots. Beavis and Butthead. Peace. Alrighty. Oh shit, is he reviving, motherfucker? I didn't even see you. Where you at? Where you at? No, you fucking don't. There we go. <laughs> All right. That went way better than last time. I've captured Two Face. I bring him to you. Send a car for his men. Sure thing, Batman. What the fuck? You mean let Batman handle it? I'm, I'm carrying Two Face. Fucking all right. If I must. Let me make sure that Batman looks at that, records that, so I know where that's at later. You said we'd be together forever, Batman! And then he threw acid on me! That's your fault. You did that to me. Oh, by the way, I changed the Batmobile. There's the Rocksteady themed Batmobile, even though it looks like someone got a little bit too excited and said, Oh my god, the Bat Tank, I love it! A little too much. Yeah, but it's cool, though. The paint job's cool. I like it. All right, is this our first big bad that we got? Get up, Dent. Looks like I put a dent in crime. Haha, <laughs> wasn't that his campaign slogan? Or some dumb shit? Hands off the boss, bat freak. Yeah, he sliced the man you are. Save your breath. We'll get our chance. Not anytime soon.
Still trying to preserve the balance of justice, eh, Batman? <laughs> Impossible! Think of all the crimes you missed while capturing us. Shut up, Two-Face. You got... <laughs> you the first one that got locked up. Hanging, Harv. Color me insensitive, but I've always wanted to ask. Did everything get split down the middle? You know what? You're not even wrong, Joker. I've wondered that for so many years, too. I remember the first time I saw Two Face, I was like, I was like, oh. man, you disappeared real fucking fast. <laughs> Jesus. I was like, I was like, wait, so he, so, so he yeah, has split personality and side of his body is different side. So how does that work when you go to the bathroom? That has to be so uncomfortable. Two Face, how are you not constantly uncomfortable? You must be, right? Oh man, I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine. Alright. Well. Anyways. Here's a little heads up for you guys. If you're looking for Riddler trophies and you're like, I got one left, where is it? Guess what? It's in this glass thing over here. It's not here for me because it's a new game plus and I already have it. But Batman comes over here, you break this open and you get it. That's cool. I feel like there was like a couple of things that I wanted to say, like about like some confusing things in this game, quote unquote confusing, right? Like things that I was like, I wonder what's happening over here. Oh yeah, I remember. There's like some Riddler trophy locations that are just really stupid. They piss me off. Hey Jack Ryder. Batman, I'm honored. Of all the places you could be, it's too dangerous. Oh my God, can you look more like a piece of shit? Ritualistic sacrifice. You stumbled across any of yeah, those like before? He has like the perfect, perfect, wow, the leave. perfect no punchable question, face. I got a story on my hands here. Maybe my own special. That'd wipe the smile off of Vale's face. You know, I heard she's dating Bruce Wayne. So what? His parents were killed. I'm sure he got over it when he saw his bank balance. A23, October 26th. I was searching the archives and this little gem. Fuck you, up. Jack. <laughs> so what if his parents got killed? Man, sweet money though. <laughs> Jesus. I don't think a I don't think a ten year old boy would fucking would get over that so fast and go like, but money. But you know, there's different types of people out there. Some people are just born evil. Oh man, another thing I gotta do is I gotta go look for the fucking fire uh firefighter department. Oh shit, I gotta go look for those guys. There's a lot of flying around and looking for shit in this game, huh? Flying, my bad. Gliding. Batman can't fly. I mean, if he has the bat wing, I guess he can fly. Alright. Oh, hey, look, a militia thingy thing. Might as well get it right now, right? Fuck out the way. Oh shit! I fucked that up. I fucked that up royally. I'm fucking it up. Oh, I'm on your ass now. There we go. I almost crashed into the wall right there. There we go. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Try and lose him, kaboom! The just Fuck you! <laughs> All right, hey, look, a bomb. I'm gonna do these off screen because these are definitely boring to fucking watch. Like the bat tank shit is 
not the most fun thing to watch. I'm gonna be honest with that, right? All right. So what is next on the agenda? Let us. Well, you know what? Are we? How close are we to Firefly? Targeting the city's fire stations. Oh, I can't even. Oh, I gotta fucking yeah. No, I gotta unlock some of the bridges and shit. So that's not worth it right now. Uh, you, I gotta go find shit. You, I gotta go find you. Azrael, I gotta go look and find you. A lot of finding. So let's tackle some Riddler shit. Riddler's next trials in Bristol. He's losing Alfred, and that makes him dangerous. Wait. Oh, it's right there. Hi, Riddler. Even though half of the things you do in this game aren't riddles. I'm not sure if I said it before, but I think this is literally probably my best, my favorite like design choice for the Riddler. Well, not the not the video of him, but when you actually see him, like his character bio, just like some he just looks like some dude that's just been slaving away in his fucking garage just building shit. Like, let's look at the, uh, the bio real quick. Where's Riddler? If I can see it with my eyes. Oh, he's down here. Like this. Like, he looks pretty badass. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> like, he looks pretty badass. Right? Oh, I also got, you know, when you collect the Riddler trophies, you get their, uh, their audio files and shit like that. But, I mean, maybe we'll listen to them later. Oh, is this the fucking annoying one where you gotta glide through the shit? Wait, no, it's not. Alright, cool. Okay, racetrack. Gotcha. I'm great at these. Yes, we shall. Don't worry, Riddler, I got this. I control these. That ceiling applies 300 dead bats of pressure, Detective. 300 dead bats of pressure? How do you measure that? <laughs> I'm pretty sure bats aren't that easy to, to like, squish. They're pretty small. They're pretty small and like, you, needed the home team advantage. you know, like their their bones seem like real easy to snap. <laughs> I didn't want to say it like that, but you know, like you ever, you ever looked at a bat, you know, and it's fucking like you're looking at its wings and you're like, I can snap that. Gotta look at the pattern because sometimes I get a little happy and I kill myself on these. Um, okay. I couldn't really see it. There we go. I feel like there's supposed to be like some some music happening with this, but like maybe it's just the game itself. Sometimes music just doesn't play, I guess. Oh, fuck. You know, I think the wheels on that thing might actually be as thick as your skull. Feeling claustrophobic. I got a lot of time, right? I got a good amount of time. Oh shit. Pulverized. Uh, any second now. Don't worry, Enigma. I'm still doing good. It's time. One thousand dead bats of pressure. Oh 
Oh shit! Yep, that didn't work good. <laughs> And we're good. Alright. Yeah, I feel like there, there should have been like some music playing with that. Uh, that was pretty lackluster. Okay, doop 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 doop. Boop boop. Alright. Make sure I'm looking at it at the right angle. Two top is the farthest. All right, Catwoman. It's this one. And here we go. Now, if your head explodes, remember it wasn't my fault. <sighs> Congratulations, Catwoman! You proved yourself able to follow simple directions. All right, that wasn't too bad. Great job, Riddler. That was an amazing riddle. I don't don't know how it was, but it was a good riddle. Meager expectations. I am impressed. This must be how naturalists felt upon observing chimpanzees using tools for the first time. Did you know, detective, that the cleverest chimps could even obey simple instructions? Did you know that rats are like super smart? Riddler? Did you know that? They're like really smart. Despite the fact that they live for like only two years. <laughs> oh man, I feel like I get it, right? You know? I get it. It's like it's like imagine if rats lived for more than two years, we would have like a really bad infestation just all over the world. But at the same time, you kinda look at rats and you're just like you're like, oh, but they deserve to live longer. <laughs> They're so smart and tiny. What the fuck? What is your plan? What the hell? Do you think you're doing? Alright. So over here we gotta make sure that uh what we gotta do. Oh yeah, we're taking out the um the bullshit so we can let the Batmobile get through. We need to do that. Unlock some more side quests for us. And I think in doing that it will also like unlock uh another area for Asriel to show up to. Dude, I'll never, I'll never get over just that image from the comics of Asriel just going like, This is a place of healing! A place of peace! You don't belong here! <laughs> just fucking, just a white guy with a sword. <laughs> I love it. That panel always brings like a smile to my face. Boom. That's the first radar tower dealt with. Where's the second? Get your ass up there. Wait, is it just a bunch? Oh, it's just a bunch of goons. Okay. I thought it was like, you know, maybe a little bit more than that. Ow. You know what? Forgot. Forgot there's no, there's no spidey sense <laughs> going on. My bat sense. Oh shit. Again, it's been like, what? Shit. It's been like, two weeks? Oh fuck. What the f- oh. <laughs> I thought that was a guy like doing a spinning kick on me or some bullshit. Nope, he just got picked up and thrown. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to get used to this shit again. Oh, fuck. Alright. You're gonna present a problem to me. I promise I'm not- I'm not this bad at the game. I just gotta get used to it again. There we go. Let's grab you. Alright, get rid of you. Now things have become a lot more easier.
Oh, I thought you were gonna go for a fucking hit. You ruined my combo, you piece of shit. Oh, now you go for the hit. That was terrible. That was terrible. That was terrible performance on my part. I'm not even gonna lie on that one. That... That was garbage. <laughs> Joker knockoffs you've got at the movie studios. There can only be one Joker, Matt, and it's me. I mean, I can use the remote hacking device. There can only be one Joker, Bat, and it's me, and Martha Wayne, and Return of the Joker from Batman Beyond, and all the other versions of Joker that have happened throughout the years that are just as cool. You guys remember Emperor Joker? The drone sensors Remember how metal that shit was? But I can it's like Joker became a god. I forgot how the fuck he did it. Joker became a god and he's all like, Yeah, I just uh, I just torture Batman every day. <laughs> and then Batman goes talks to Superman. He's like, You can't take it anymore, Superman. <laughs> it's too much. Emperor Joker was cool. Motherfucker looked like he was kicking it back like he was Dio, right? Superman, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> oh man, speaking of like all the Joker bullshit, right? Albert so apparently, the radar. in the comics, the like in the, I'm not sure if it's been like, if it happened uh, months ago or not, but I figured, I, fu I found out about it like what, a week and a half ago or some bullshit, right? Apparently uh, Joker now has a canonical name, right? His real name is now canon as a uh, Jack Oswell White, right? And the first thing I thought about is I was like, didn't they call him Jack White and fuck? Well, they didn't call him, but they said he had like an alias that he used like a bank account to send money over from like uh, an Arkham Asylum. Like Barbara goes like, yeah, I'm seeing an account from like a Jack White. What was this shit about? <laughs> right? And I'm pretty sure Jack White's been used some other couple of times too, right? For the longest time people always uh always um just accept it like the whole Napier thing as like Joker's thing, right? Cuz you know it was in the animated series, Mask of Phantasm, all that other bullshit. And it was in uh it was in uh one of the live actions I believe they used the Napier moniker for, right? So everyone's just like, "Yeah, no, we're just it's not official, but it's unofficially official, right? But now apparently Jack White is the official one, which is like, Everybody stay sharp. like I don't, I'm be honest, I don't really know how to feel about it. <laughs> I don't feel any content for it. I don't feel, I don't feel like, oh my god, finally the joke. Oh my god, we finally have an name for. I don't even feel that. It's just like, oh shit. Make sure you guys aren't looking down. Well, it's silent taking down your ass right, right behind your buddy. Yeah, but I'm like, to me, it's not like, oh my god, finally, Joker has a name. It's just like, yeah, okay, right? There's some people that are angry about it because they're like, they're like, but the mystery, and it's like, eh, I mean, is it really a mystery though? Because like, for years, we just all just pretty much accepted the killing joke as his origin, right? So. <laughs> Is it really a mystery? Like, it doesn't really, like, add or take anything away. The only thing, the only thing I want to see is, like, if they, uh, if it will come full circle from, like, the three Joker storyline, where, like, you see his family, and Batman's like, we gotta protect these fucking people. He's like, he's like, people cannot know who the fuck the Joker is. Because if they do, <laughs> imagine being related to that guy. Oh, man, your life would be shit. And then imagine he finds out that you're fucking alive. And it's like, on top of that, uh, in the same comic or whatever, it's like, oh. It's like, oh, he wasn't like a, a man down on his luck. Like, he was down on his luck, but at the same time, he was also like a wife beater. <laughs> so, I mean, doesn't surprise me. Hello, Harley, right? Oh, fuck that. They're gonna blow me up. Get the hell out of there, Batman. So it's like... 
it's like, oh, he was a wife beater before he was the Joker. And the reason why they faked her death was because she's like, I gotta get the fuck out of here. So imagine if, imagine that guy, right, that you escaped from becomes the Joker. <laughs> and he knows that you're alive. And he knows that his son is alive. He's coming to get you. <laughs> He's coming to get you. Right? Like, Jesus. Oh, man. I, like, they have to do something with that, right? You can't just throw that out there and do nothing with it. You know, th their only options when they did that part of the story in The Three Jokers was to either leave it alone, right? And never talk about it, which they obviously didn't do because now we know who the fuck the Joker is. So it's like, now you can't leave that alone. Now you gotta show me. We're talking about the Joker here. We're talking about the same guy who... We're talking about the fucking in-game Joker here, right? Death in the family Joker. Not death of the family. Death in the family Joker. Where it's like, he's like, I knew who the fuck y'all motherfuckers were for years. I just don't care. <laughs> but what if I did use that to my advantage? <laughs> Fuck it. Uh, God. I'm gonna start talking about comics again and losing my mind. All right? Wait, what the fuck are you guys doing? What are you shooting at? You. Come on, peek out a little bit more. Shut the fuck up, Arkham Knight. You really... <laughs> you guys got it! You can take out the Batman, just the three of you. Forget that this man's like a fucking thief in the night. No, that's Sly Cooper. That's a thief in the night. Speaking of Sly Cooper, right? For some fucking weird we reason, this week, uh, like, you know, not this week, but like last week, it was Sly Cooper's, what, 25th anniversary or, or some shit? So, you know, Sony's just like, oh, yeah, fucking congratulations, Sly Cooper, and Sucker Punch like, oh, man, we love Sly Cooper, and then fucking the Game Awards for some fucking reason, which never tweets until, like, you know, until it's like E3 time or fucking, uh, you know, or December when they're getting ready for the Game Awards. They just go like, oh yeah, man, Sly Cooper, that's cool. Hey guys, there's a new Sly Cooper game. What would you name it? Right? It's like, fucking. And then that with fucking Sucker Punch, like earlier this year going like, we have no further plans for Infamous or Sly Cooper at this time. Please stop asking us. <laughs> Please stop putting out fucking rumors and leaks. We're not making a new one. You guys like Ghost of Tsushima? <laughs> right? And it's like, I can take you at your word. I can. But at the same time, a lot of you people are just being really weird about it. will be too thick for me to penetrate. I need something with a little more punch. You know? First, like at this, like, um, like, as someone who likes Sly Cooper at this point, you know, and you, you fucking left the series on a cliffhanger back in like 2014. 2014, my guy. 2014. That was like, what, eight years ago? Like, holy fuck. But anyways... It's like... Oh shit, I gotta deal with these tanks. It's like, listen... Oh, by the way, isn't there supposed to be like a, a guy up here? Like a dead body? I guess it didn't show up yet. Oh, fuck! Alright, 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 alright. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> shit. But yeah, it's like, um, it's like, guys, if, if you're going to make, stop with the bullshit. If you're going to make the game, just make the fucking game. Just an, oh, fucking Christ. I'm an idiot. Oh, fuck. Let's just go around these corners. Did I just fucking corner myself? I dead ass did, didn't I? Hold up. Don't turn, don't turn, don't turn. All right, cool. Y'all motherfuckers are all, like, just in one spot. Like, back up. I need, like, a good angle on you. But yeah, it's like, if you're gonna fucking, if you're gonna make the goddamn Sly Cooper game, just make the fucking game and announce it. Like, you guys already did the whole thing with the movie, and then that shit didn't work because, like, you guys were like, oh, the Ratchet and Clank movie was, didn't do well because it was bad right so they're like it's obviously not worth it but hey we got tom holland you got him wrapped under our little spider-man finger because we're sony let's just fucking uh, uncharted movie 
<laughs> right? I still haven't watched that movie, by the way. I don't think I want to. I don't think Uncharted would make a good movie, even though, even though most of the storylines that it has are basically just movies. It's Indiana Jones, just with more like Mountain Dew and Doritos. <laughs> Dude Raider. Alright, you're dead. You don't got support nearby. Stop saying that. Support's nowhere nearby. I'm gonna go over here. And pray that you don't turn your head. Good. Boom. Alright. Now they're all up top, right? Did that guy go? He went down, did he? Yep, he did. He went down. Oh, you're not supposed to turn around. Don't get stuck on the fucking ramp. They're taking their sweet ass time. Oh, I can fucking hack one of them. Get hacked, bitch. Go fight for me. I can hack another one. Go fight for me. Get hacked, bitch. Been found. Like your height. There we go. Alright. Now you work for me. Yeah, fuck him up. Get him. Are you telling me I'm not aiming at him? There we go. Alright, we're good now. And where is the... Oh, it's right here. Oh, no, it's the Arkham Knight. He's here. Mark Hamill, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not gonna voice the Joker no more. I'm tired of this. Arkham Knight comes out. I guess I'll voice. I guess I'm gonna voice the Joker again. <laughs> like, remember that shit when he's like, "I'm not doing the Joker no more." <laughs> he's like, "Okay, Mark Hamill, we believe you." All right, I'm gonna take out a handful of you guys. I like how they separated the uh, the two healers. All right. And I can't, you know, take out the big guy. But let's see, I can do fought. I can work my way to the healer, right? Yeah, I can work my way to the healer. I just need a good fucking angle. Looks like the bat scares easy. I was looking forward to putting a bullet in his head. I don't want to attack that one. I want to attack him first. Oh, fuck it. No. Four. Well, I only get five, so. Just start choking each other. <laughs> I got your neck. Instead of fighting me here, you know, putting an end to it with advantages, you'll just run away like a little bitch. The fuck off me. No, I didn't want to do that on you. Ow, mother... Damn it. Come on, I need you to get a little bit closer to something I can take your ass out with. Or I can just build up my combo meter. There we go. Now you're out of the equation. Oh, no. 
Ah, you son of a bitch. Fucked up my combo. Ow. Get over here. There we go. That was a bit better than the last time. Tell me you have a name. I don't, sir. Of the few Arkham Asylum patients who weren't recaptured and sent to Arkham City, none appear capable of organizing and leading such an assault. He's not a I love the butt chin that Batman's working with right now. And that long ass neck. <laughs> Every time I see this fucking version of the Batman, it's just like, yo, you got a long ass neck, my guy. I know Alfred. For real. I'm trusting you to narrow it down. That and those giant fucking like, like skull dimple, skull dimple. Wow, skull dimples he got going on top of his head. <laughs> they just look like two big weak points to me, you know. Just like hit him right there. All right, time to take this shit now, and then do more side quests because we gotta do a hundred percent. Why? Because I said so. Because I I'm an idiot. Oh shit. <laughs> I thought I fell off for a moment. Alright, let me just take this guy. Ow. Oh fuck it, I got missiles. Fuck you. What's Bracken? Nothing. <laughs> I'm just chilling out, right? Playing some video game. No, I'll tell you what's Bracken. Right? Alfred. This week, I decided to check out two things, right? Well, I, check, I actually checked out a lot of things. I watched Kubo and the Two Strings for the first time. That was great. But anyways, um, I remember last time I was streaming, and I was like, I was talking about, like, uh, like which uh, DC heroes I find the most interesting, like, in what order. You know, I went, like, I went, like, Batman first, Flash second, Green Lantern, Superman, uh, Wonder Woman, well, at least out of the Justice League, right? Like, Wonder Woman, fucking Manhunter, and then, like, Cyborg last, because Cyborg doesn't really have any, like, good stories, <laughs> right? And I was talking about how, like, uh, how, like, like, you know, besides Cyborg, every other member of the Justice League has some sort of interesting story to, like, that goes, like, what should I read? And someone goes, like, this is the must-read material right here. Like, even Green Lantern, it's like, oh, just go read his origin story and, like, all the other shit and, like, the shit around his niece and stuff like that. Like, that's interesting. But, like, Wonder Woman doesn't really have that. So I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna start watching the DC animated movies and shit. I'm gonna watch them in the orders that they came out. So, uh, the 2009 Wonder Woman animated movie. Uh, is Wonder Woman always, like, metal as fuck? Because that movie was great. <laughs> the first 20 minutes, it's like, it's like, it's like, of course, you know, of course we got all that Greek mythology shit going, right? We got battles, we got fucking beheadings, motherfuckers like fighting in the sky and shit, right? Ares getting in prison, Zeus being a dickhead. Uh, we got, you know, some, some real dark topics, talks about like, uh, you know, uh, what, what's where I'm looking for? You know, fuck it, I'm just gonna say it. Talks about like, you know, fucking rape and shit, sexual assault, right? And then... <laughs> And just a bunch of shit, right? That whole entire movie, that movie was fucking great. <laughs> that was a good ass movie. <laughs> Making spaghetti, am I hungry? Actually, what the fuck? It's terrible. But look, just call the temp agency and I'm sure they'll send you another. Hi, Joker. We we seem to have come at an impasse. You know what I love about firefighters? They run towards the danger. <laughs> I can't even get up. <laughs> I did not mean to like grapple there. Joker's just being a dickhead, right? Um, shut the fuck up, Joker. That one's better, Mac. Jo oh yeah, I was supposed to see today. My plan was uh, call my local pizza shop and get the special that I always get that they know me for because I'm a regular there. Well, not not as much anymore, but used to be a regular there, right? I was gonna do that today. I was like, you know what? I haven't had pizza in like fucking what? Five months? I'm gonna go order me some pizza, right? Then uh, I just kinda got busy and just the day went by. And by the time I was like, oh wait, I was supposed to order pizza today. By the time I did that, it was like fucking 12 o'clock. And I was like, oh, 
I was like, no. The only pizza place that might be open is like Domino's and Papa John's. Domino's is shit and fucking Papa John's, it's all right. But like, you know, it's not, it's not what I want, <laughs> right? Like, I was a little upset. <laughs> I was like, I was like, guess I'll get pizza tomorrow. But you know what? I'm not off of work tomorrow, so it won't, it won't feel as good, you know? Right? I want to get pizza for the night, watch a movie, fucking just, and just die. Right? <laughs> oh man. Oh, you're heading out, Breezy? Nice to see you. And thank you for stopping by. Right? Oh, actually. Before you go, Breezy, let me, uh, let me say something real quick. Fucking, um, uh, schedule's gonna change a little bit, right? Uh, instead of, what is it? Monday? Fuck, Monday? Is it Monday? Instead of like the two days that I have now, like it's still gonna be, you know, the midnight on like Mondays or whatever. But instead of, um, instead of what, Wednesday? Wednesday midnight or whatever the fuck it is? Instead of that, that's gonna switch over to Saturday because of the whole thing happening at my job and shit like that. So the schedule's gonna change just a little bit, right? So, you know, you got something to do on weekend, weekend nights. Right. <laughs> I'm not sure when that's gonna. I think it's gonna happen next week. I think that's when I'm gonna change the schedule, or maybe this week. I don't know. All right. One of the reasons why I didn't uh didn't get the stream at all last week was because of all the bullshit that they're doing at my job. But yeah, that's gonna be changing a little bit. Uh, and that's pretty much it. But um. Yeah, Wonder Woman, metal as fuck. <laughs> and then after that, I watched uh, the Green Lantern animated series, right? The only fucking show that he ever got, right? You know, the 3D animated one. And I, I start to like fucking Wonder Woman do get that. Yo, that, if you have not watched that 2009 fucking animated movie, right? My God, it, that, that was a metal ass movie. It was so fucking good. It had no right to be that good, right? I haven't watched any of the live-action Wonder Woman movies yet, though, so I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Hopefully, it's good. But then again, after watching that movie, I just sat there and I was like, okay, but Batman's still okay with Wonder Woman, though? Because she, cause she, cause one, I always knew Wonder Woman was like, I'm okay with killing. She's like, behead that motherfucker right now. <laughs> but then I always question, like, why doesn't she kill Cheetah? And didn't her main villain used to be like Cersei or some shit? I don't know. Wonder Woman's like really confusing. Like she's a straightforward character, but it's really... Con her morals are very confusing to me. <laughs> Especially surrounded by everyone else. Alright. But yeah, watch the uh, Green Lantern fucking animated movie. Um, not move. Well, I watched that one too, right? What's it called? First Flight? Green Lantern First Flight? I think that's what it's called. It's, uh, you know, Hal Jordan, like, first becoming the Green Lantern and then, uh, Sinestro becoming the, uh, you know, starting the Sinestro Corps and shit like that. That movie's fucking awesome as shit, too. That movie, that movie got kind of dark a little bit. Like, Sinestro's a real fucking asshole in there. It's scary. But like the uh, Green Lantern 3D animated show, I started to roll my eyes because I was like, oh, it's, it's like the 2010, 2008 fucking, you know, Cartoon Network animated shows where it's like the backgrounds are so barren and boring, you know, like like the early episodes of like, um, what you call it? Star Wars, the Clone Wars, right? We were just like, oh, man, this is so fucking boring, right? But, you know, I was like. You know, I was looking at it, people like, you know what, the show's really good, it does Green Lantern justice, and I'm like, you know what, I'll give it a try, why not, I'll try it. Can't say it's shit without looking at it, right? So then I watched it. I watched the first four episodes. And then I watched three more. And then I watched ten more. <laughs> and I was like, this is a good ass show, I like it, right? It's not nothing too crazy, but it had like all the source material and shit that they're, you know, using and stuff. 
you can tell the people who made the show like they probably didn't have the biggest budget but they sure as fuck to love green lantern and then you have and then that's where the character razor and aya come from right which i think those two well not aya but razor at least shows up in young justice right and i'm just sitting there i'm like this is really i mean this is really fucking good actually i like this <laughs> right how would he what batman be if he had guns uh i mean he would be thomas wayne flashpoint batman well that's not even yeah that's not even bruce that that's his dad but then there's also the uh dark multiverse in dc where there is a batman who uses guns and he's called the batman who frags yes because the batman who laughs was very popular and we needed every version of batman possible after that we also have the robin king which is bruce <laughs> yeah the batman who frags <laughs> yeah i know right <laughs> This is fucking dumb. It's basically Punisher Batman. But then there's also another version of Batman who uses guns that's kind of like Punisher Batman. But he's not called the Batman who frags. There's like a different version or some shit. Right? And then you have the Robin King. Uh, Remember when, remember when Punisher fucking soloed the Hulk? Remember when he became the Silver Surfer? Remember that shit? <laughs> He became, I'm pretty sure it was Punisher, right? He became the Silver Surfer and then he like fucking imprisoned the Hulk. Man, speaking about the Hulk, if you're a Hulk fan. Oh my god, the shit's happening in the comics right now for Hulk. It's pretty cool. That whole Starship Hulk shit. You got Bruce Banner like, you know, in his whole Mind Palace shit basically controlling Hulk like a fucking spaceship. And he's using like the personality of the Hulk as the fuel source. It's fucking great. I'm like, what the hell is going on here? But, um... But, yeah, there's also... You also have, like, the Robin King, which is Bruce Wayne when he's still young. And instead of his parents dying in Crime Alley, he's the one who killed them. And, like, Alfred has suspicions over it. But then once Bruce Wayne finally goes, like, fuck it. You're killing now. I'm the Robin King, right? And he's, like, chasing Alfred around the house and fucking, like, getting ready to kill him. You see Alfred on the floor and he's all like, I, I knew it was you the entire time, Master When I should have killed you, but I couldn't bring myself to do it. He's like, I should have stopped you when I had the chance. <laughs> and I'm like, aw, Alfred, you're so cool. And you're still dead in like the real, <laughs> in the real can canonical universe. Nightwing, you're here and you're wearing red. Like Injustice. What about her shooting at me? Remember how Nightwing dies in Injustice? <laughs> Damien just throws the fucking stick at him right on the temple. And he fuck what the fuck just happened? And he um and he lands on a rock. <laughs> he cracks his neck. What did you do, Damien? He he usually he usually dodges it or catches it or something. He always blocks it, Batman. It's like, Damien, I'm not sure if you know this, but you were raised by assassins. Almost everything you do is in the act of killing someone. <laughs> Look at that fucking dynamic entry I got going there. Gotta look up the Batman who frags. Oh yeah, you definitely do. <laughs> what if Batman used gun? I mean, that was also like the thing in um Batman Beyond. The reason Bruce Wayne stopped being Batman is because he's like he uh, had a heart attack. He was having a heart attack during one of his uh, crusadings, right? And then he whipped a gun out on a guy and almost shot him because because he's on the floor dying and he can't defend himself. And then Batman's like, that's it. I pulled the gun out on a guy. I would have shot him. I would have shot him. <laughs> There's also the Batman, uh, when, uh, what you call it? Dark Knight Returns or whatever. When he's like super old. And fucking, he has like a gun with rubber bullets. I'll be honest. Don't know a whole lot about the Marvel, but you know a whole lot about DC. Trust me, me too. <laughs> the extent of my knowledge is that I am aware of the fact that the Batman who laughs exists. Yes. Yeah, so there was DC Metal... Right, which was like this whole entire event to get Batman to touch like nine mythical metals or whatever the fuck to bring Barbados into whatever the fuck. He's from the Dark Universe. And then there's DC Dark Metal, which is like the whole multi-universe stuff with like, you know, uh, where they introduce all those uh, 
other universes of Batman who fucking are like based off of Justice League shit. So there's like the Green Lantern Batman, the Flash Batman, you know, Cyborg Batman or whatever, and they're all evil. <laughs> right? And then that led to the, you know, them going like, oh, here's the origin of the Batman who laughs and shit like that and all that crazy shit. And then the Batman who's laughed got really popular and uh, they kept putting out more dark metal, uh, not dark metal, um, dark universe alternate Batman shit. Like there's one where like Gotham City itself is literally the Batman. Bruce Wayne uploaded his consciousness into like a self-defense mechanism in Gotham City. So the city itself is just Batman. <laughs> it's actually pretty fucking cool. And they're all evil. <laughs> yup. There's a, uh, the Aquaman one, which is called the, no, not the Merciless, the Drowned, I think, because they all have names like the Merciless, the Drowned, the Killing Machine, the Red Flash, right? I mean, not the Red Flash, the Red Death, right? You know, all like sinister and very like, oh, the evil name, right? So there's the, uh, the Drowned, I think it's called, right? And basically it's, it's, uh, Batman... But that universe, everyone's gender is opposite, so it's a uh, Batwoman, and fucking um, and basically, that version of Batman injects herself with like Atlantis cells or some shit like that. So she basically becomes an Atlantean, and then she drowns the entire world, and and everything in her world is either underwater or dead, <laughs> right? Who I think wins in a fight, Buffy or Blade? Well, considering the fact that uh, Blade's a motherfucking daywalker or whatever the fuck he's called, right? And the fact that Blade has fought, like, giant fucking mummies and shit with the Monster Squad. Remember the Monster Squad? Nobody remembers the Monster Squad. But, um, the Monster Squad is literally just, like, the Invisible Man, Werewolf, fucking Frankenstein. They're like a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent force or some shit like that of just monsters. Uh, but... But yeah, Buffy would, uh, I love Buffy. She would get her ass beat by Blade, though. <laughs> like, for real. Like, didn't Buffy die? Like, wasn't one of the story... Is that Joker up there? What are you doing? What are you doing up here? Tough night, huh? Oh, I know how you feel, Brucey. There's an old remedy I used to try on nights like this. It's called murder. <laughs> it's called murder. You're an asshole, Joker. Um, Come on, bats. Buffy's died a couple of times? Really? I thought she only died once. I never really finished Buffy, right? But wasn't it a thing like she died once and then they brought her back to life and she goes, she goes, guys, fuck off. I was at peace and now you brought me back to this bullshit. He's <laughs> like, oh my God, I was happy. I was happy dead. Being dead is cool. <laughs> it's amazing. You should try it sometime. Right? Riddler's trials in Kingston. He's been toying with me so far. Enjoying the sense of How far of is Kingston? Oh, that's all the fuck the way over there, but we can... It's just a matter of time. Don't hang out with Firefighter. Fire attacks. Right? The smoke I think she dies a total of three times? Really? <laughs> Bonks for being a nerd. <laughs> hey man, how's it going? How's it going, Brennan? Hope you're having a lovely time, right? But yeah, I never really finished Buffy. I still gotta finish Supernatural, right? I'm not sure if I talked about it before, but I started watching Supernatural because I love Scooby-Doo. And like, it was the whole thing where they're like, the 14th season, they have a, cross a crossover at Scooby-Doo. But I'm also kind of a crazy son of a bitch that's like, well, if I'm gonna watch it, I gotta watch it from the beginning to understand the story. And then I watched Supernatural from the beginning. Still haven't made it to the 14th season. Uh, the last thing I, the last like major thing I remember is what's her name, Joan and her mom. Fucking spoilers for Supernatural, by the way. Fucking fifteen years old now, but um, like Joan and her mom, you know, they they blow themselves up <laughs> because they need to they need to kill Lucifer or some shit, right? And at the end, it's all just not worth it. Everybody in that whole fucking Hunter's Bar just kind of gets fucked up because of Sam and Dean. He's like, man, you guys are assholes. <laughs> I was enjoying my life, killing monsters and shit, and then you showed up. Right? 
You showed up, ruined my life. To be fair, like half of the time though, it's them going like, nah, I can handle myself, and then they get captured or like tortured or some shit or something bad happens to them after Sam and Dean basically goes like, nah man, you shouldn't do that, that's really dangerous. And then they just fucking walk away and blame Sam and Dean because they're like, if I never met you, this wouldn't have happened. It's like, you're the one who fucking, you're the one who didn't listen to me. <laughs> like, uh, what's her name? Uh, not Ruby, fucking the, uh, the clairvoyant or whatever, their psychic friend. Who like went blind because like because they're like trying to talk to whatever fucking force was like hanging around Dean or whatever and then you know the force is basically telling her like you don't need don't look at my physical form you like don't do it right and then she's like ah I'm tough I can do it and then she looked she basically stares at an angel and fucking her eyes just set on fire <laughs> she's like my eyes it's like, you're not supposed to look at an angel head on. Fucking, come on, man. I, I told you not to, and you said no. <laughs> Even the angel said, I, want, I wouldn't do that if I were you. What's his name? Azrael or whatever the fuck? That shit was hilarious. <laughs> I can handle myself. Stares directly at an angel. Just be happy it wasn't God. <laughs> right? Fucking die on the spot. You'll die like the reverse flash. I saw God. Ah! <laughs> That's another fun thing. I love it so much. All right, Firefly. Slow your ass down so I can beat your ass up. There we go. Yeah. Now punch him while he's fucking down. Knock his ass out. Let's see. One of the times doesn't really count because someone pull someone pulls up and performs CPR immediately and she comes back. Oh, okay, well, so that's just shock factor, right? Finally completed the game and you're happy. <laughs> oh, you're happy. Wait, which game? This one? You wanna know what game I completed within the last week? Fucking Xenoblade Chronicles 3. I'm not sure if I said that like in one of my other streams. But like, if you like Xenoblade, the game's still good, right? But if you like Xenoblade, <laughs> Right? <laughs> you get to the ending of Xenoblade Chronicles 3, you're like, ah! And you're just screaming. To be honest, I think Buffy wins based on the amount of experience she has tangling with massive overpowered, uh, Paris? 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 How do you say that? Um, yeah, but Blade's been around for, like, Blade's been around longer than Buffy, right? And, like, um... Even during, like, the return of, uh, the, um, when they try to, like, redo Marvel Zombies or whatever, like, Blade shows up, and he's all like, honestly, I don't give a fuck about any of you guys. I don't care if you live or die. I'm just here to kill monsters. <laughs> he's like, I can handle myself. I'm a vampire. This shit don't affect me. I'm half vampire, anyways. Do I want to become famous? Oh, my God. I buy followers and primes and viewers on the viewer shop. Thank you. Thank you, bot. Twitch, when are you gonna fucking deal with these bots, man? Because, like, no matter what you do, they just keep coming back. Did I hear about the ch uh, chameleon that couldn't change colors and had had a reptile? <laughs> really? That's a nice one. That's a nice joke. <laughs> reptile dysfunction. Nice. <laughs> oh, man. We don't really see the chameleon that much in Spider-Man anymore, right? He's kind of gone, right? We're, we're just not dealing with him no more. <laughs> right? Also, why the fuck did I bring... Oh, wait, no. I, I rode in here on his jetpack. That's what happened. I, was, I thought I had him in, like, my Batmobile or some shit. Blade took out zombies. Uh, excuse me. Blade took out zombies, uh, Spidey, which, which is a feat. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about, um... Spider-Man zombie never got tucking out by Blade. What are you talking about? I'm talking about uh when they try to reboot Marvel Zombies or whatever. And it was um it was uh Richard Reed's and fucking Invisible Girl's uh child, but he died or whatever in the whole the spoiler alert, right? Is that like he's not like his consciousness got put in some other fucking body because his real body is dead, right? So he lost all his like reality bending powers and shit. You know, and Spider-Man's, like, protecting him and shit. And, like, the uh, the Marvel zombies of that universe aren't really zombies. They're, like, 
Um, they're basically like this alien race that's been in Marvel before or something like that, but they're basically a parasite or whatever the fuck. What's I'm talking about that one, right? Anyway? I thought it was, all about the fact. was it Zombie Spider-Man or Vampire Spider? Probably Vampire Spidey. I didn't even know they had a Vampire Spidey, but you know what? I believe it. But Buffy, uh, Buffy had this, uh, Buffy and the squad has taken out gods from hell before. She's taken out first generation vampires. Isn't Deacon Frost a first generation vampire, right? Like, um, Blade's dad. Yeah, it's probably Vampire Spider-Man or something like that. Because I, I don't... Because Zombie Spider-Man, like, he lives, right? And then, like, before they rebooted um Marvel Zombies, they try to, like, do a hard sequel or whatever. And that's when he gets transported to a different universe with, like, the younger Spider-Man. And that's when... Uh, I talked about it the last Batman stream, I think, or whatever. Because I was getting into it. Um, And that's when, like... He tries to eat Sandman, and Sandman comes back to fucking fight the regular Spider-Man, but the regular Spider-Man doesn't know what the fuck's going on, so then that's when he inflates him on that boar shit and fucking explodes him from the inside, which is really disturbing to, to look at, because that, because it's literally Spider-Man walking around, bloated up like a fucking balloon, going, Sandman, no, I can't take it, and then he just explodes from the inside out, and it's really fucking gross <laughs> and uncomfortable <laughs> to look at. Right? Deacon Frost is a bitch, baby. <laughs> that channel's a <laughs> blood god. <laughs> I'll be honest. I, I I don't know as much about Blade as I should. Right? But, like, you said Buffy and the squad took out a god. Now, that's Buffy and the squad, right? It's not Buffy herself. She didn't one-on-one -on -one a fucking god. Now, did she? Because if we're talking about Blade one-on-one -on -one and Buffy... I still think Blade would fuck, fuck her up. He start crawling on walls and shit. <laughs> right? But at the same time, I still need to finish watching Buffy myself, so... Buffy could... Buffy could probably fuck him up. Fuck him up real bad. Oh, shit! Oh, by the way, I, I remember now, fucking Marvel Zombies, like, original Marvel Zombies wasn't even, like, it didn't even just start as Marvel Zombies. It was a crossover with fucking Evil Dead. <laughs> with the Evil Dead fucking comics or whatever. That's where original Marvel Zombies, like, started with. Because, like, Ash Williams or whatever the fuck was, like, fuck, I think that's his name, right? Ash Williams fucking, he, he, like died in his universe but he wasn't dead dead but like he got transported or some bullshit like that or like he was in some sort of like purgatory where like he's dead but he's not so he's in like the marvel universe now or something he's looking for the necronomicon and then they're like the necronomicon's not the thing that's causing the zombie thing and then he finds the necronomicon necronomicon's like go fuck yourself haha Right? And then Ash goes like, well, Necronomicon, you should team up with me because once they eat everybody here, they're going to find out that you're a flesh, you're a book made of flesh and they're going to eat you. And then Necronomicon goes, you know what? I am a book and I can't defend myself. You're right about that. You're right about that. <laughs> Maybe I should help you. <laughs> I'm a talking book. What's up, bitch? Oh, you got stuck now. You done fucked up. There we go. Uh, she won't be one of the god a few times when you, uh, when you set the squad, you mean she had goons taking care of the trash mobs. A Buffy squad up with the chaos god. Maybe, uh, maybe Willow's was pulling up some magic ritual and Buffy couldn't do, but killing everything around Willow. Okay, yeah. Alright. Again, like I said, I gotta fucking, I gotta catch up on Buffy shit, right? You know? But then when I watch Buffy, I'm just like, I'm gonna watch Supernatural. <laughs> and then Supernatural is just fucking stupid because you get tired of it. I'm like, what? Well, I don't know. Fucking. Because every season is just like fucking. Dean, if I turn, you're gonna have to kill me, brother. Nah, man, I'm not gonna kill you. You're my brother. Nah, listen to me, Dean. Listen to me, Dean. You're gonna have to kill me if I turn into a demon. Nah, Sammy, you're my little bro. And then, like, that will be resolved in that season. And then the next season will be like, Sammy. If the angels come for me, don't let them get me, brother. Kill me. I made a deal with the devil, brother. You gotta kill me. Nah, Dean, you're my big bro. Right? And it's just that for, like, fucking ten more seasons. <laughs> ten more seasons. That was... That was pretty visceral, Batman. 
I ain't gonna lie. That was a that was a straight up just missile. Just threw at them. What the fuck's trying to shoot me? Hold up. What the hell just tried to shoot me? What was that? Okay. There's comics after the show that gets uh, gets kind of fucking powerful. You know what? I believe it. Cause like, <laughs> you know what? Fuck. How do they like? How do I fucking respond? I uh, say that. Who the fuck? Who is this dickhead trying to shoot at me? Where did they go? Someone's trying to shoot like rockets at me and shit. Okay, whatever. Um, you know, I always wonder, right? How the fuck, whenever a series, you know, basically goes, uh, when they basically go like, oh man, we have tie-in comics and shit like that, but they never advertise it? Like, how the f like, you know? And they're like, oh, this comic did very well. Like, for example, the fucking Tomb Raider uh, reboot or whatever. Like, you ever played uh, the Tomb Raider reboot, and then, like, you get to the second game, Rise of the Tomb Raider, and you're like, what the fuck happened to all the other guys? Where's Sam? Right? Where's Sam? Where's fucking, uh, where's Sam and Reyes? What the fuck happened to those guys, right? And then it's like, you know, you do a little digging, and then it's like, fucking, oh, it had a tie-in comic. And you're like, it had a tie-in comic? What the fuck? And they didn't advertise this at all, so when the new game came out, nobody knew what the fuck happened to these characters? <laughs> and it's like... You read it and it's like, oh, Sam went crazy because she almost got her soul snatched by the Sun Queen or some dumb shit. Uh, Reyes is just like, she's like, fuck this. Um, I'm smart. I'm the black one. I'm just gonna like stay home <laughs> with my two children. <laughs> fuck this. I'm not doing this no more. Right? Um, and then, uh, <laughs> and then Jonah's just like, yeah, okay, whatever. I'm cool because I guess people like me from the first game, so uh, I'm gonna be in the second game and third one too. And yeah, there's that. <laughs> but it's like, it's like if you didn't advertise any of this shit, but you're still making it, right? Fucking, I don't get it, man. And they're like, oh man, the comic did well, and I'm like, how? Oh, I hate this fucking one. You gotta glide across or whatever. There we go. Did I did I do it? I did it. There we go. Get your ass back up there. And now I gotta glide back over. Gotta check on my spaghetti water. <laughs> spaghetti. Um, oh man, you want to hear something really, like, stupid and funny and stupid? Uh, so, probably a little TMI right here, right? But, um, but, like, uh, shit, <laughs> how the fuck do I, how do I say this without, without being so, so mean about it, right? Well, I'm just gonna say it because there's no other way but to be mean about it. So I got a brother, right? And he's a dickhead, right? He's an idiot, right? And, you know, homeboy has a has a baby mama that he that he doesn't want living in her house. Doesn't want uh, doesn't you know? He's just a real scumbag, real piece of work, right? Doesn't want the child living in his house either and stuff like that. Real, real idiot. And the girl herself isn't that good either. <laughs> right and fucking reason I bring this up because you know my mother being the the nice person that she is right she's like oh well then come live with me or whatever right and fucking I went over there one night <laughs> went over there one night and I was just like I was like oh, cause usually I cook like dinner or whatever for them right and then she's like, oh, I'll cook the dinner tonight. And I was like, okay. Right? She's like, I'll make spaghetti and meatballs. You know? And, no, I'll be honest. Most people in my family don't know how to fucking cook. Right? They know how to make the bare basics. Maybe, you know, maybe when Thanksgiving come around, put a turkey in the oven, some, you know, fucking stuffing or whatever, and macaroni and shit. You know, all the black people essentials. Right? 
that's basically the only thing my family knows how to make. They don't really know how to cook, cook, per se, right? You know, not to sound too snobby or whatever. But she's like, I'll make spaghetti and meatballs or whatever. And I never saw this girl cook in my life. And I'm like, okay. I'm like, okay, well, you got the dinner tonight, right? You can't fuck it up. It's spaghetti and meatballs. There's some pre-done meatballs in the fucking freezer. You know, just throw those in there, right? You got some spaghetti sauce in a can over there, right? You know, and, you know, just some noodles. Throw it in the water, put some salt in it or whatever, you know, some seasoning or whatever. And let them boil. Let them get however firm you want. You can't possibly fuck this up. So then I leave. And then I come back. And then, uh, the spaghetti's done. And I'm not sure if you guys ever saw how black people do, uh, how, how we make our fucking ramen noodles. Well, I say we, but I don't, you know, I make ramen noodles like a fucking normal person. But, um, how we mostly make our ramen noodles where we drain all the water out and the noodles get all mushy and shit, right? You know, I don't know why people eat it like that, but they do. And that's how she made the spaghetti noodles. Uh, half of them were hard, half of them were not cooked. Uh, the rest were like mushy. <laughs> and I was like, oh, dear God, how did you fuck this up? Right? And then there's the meatballs. Pre-made, by the way. Just a bag of meatballs, defrost them, do whatever, fucking put them in the, put them in the sauce, right? I don't know, I don't know what she did. Maybe she didn't even use the meatballs or something, I didn't really check. I guess she used like a regular like chopped meat or something, right? You know, chopped beef, ground beef, right? And like, there was just no seasoning, no flavor. It's like she just tucked the meat, put it in the skillet, let it cook, and said, this should be flavor, right? And just poured the sauce on it. The sauce itself isn't even like flavored sauce. It's just basically just like tomato paste, to be honest. You got to do something with it to make it something. And I'm just sitting here, and I'm like, I'm like, the kids are supposed to be, I'm like, you made this, right? You're like, what, 25 or something? You have a child, right? This is what you made. For you to eat tonight and for the other kids in the house to eat tonight right and i'm just looking at it i'm like this is sad this is very very sad very simple dish you can't fuck it up <laughs> and i'm just looking at it and i'm like yeah you should uh you should never cook again <laughs> like, i'm like you just shouldn't right Either that, or maybe try the food you cook before giving it to others, because she was, she was just sitting in the fucking, in the other room, not even eating the spaghetti she made. She was like, so, I guess she brought takeout, or someone else bought takeout, or something like that. So, you just got this fucking atrocity just sitting on the stove, and I'm just like, oh. I'm like, this isn't good. <laughs> how do you, how? Right? Out here stirring this motherfucking spaghetti. Exactly, right? Making them nudes. I'm going back to the orphanage. That's my word for noodles. Do you want some nudes? They're like, what the fuck are you talking about? And I'm like, my noodles. My new news. <laughs> when my niece was like young or whatever, you know, when she was with she was her baby age, right? Fucking two words that I love that she would always say. She would call noodles new news, right? Or new news, right? And then she would call Fruit Loops Fruit Roops. I love Fruit Roops. Fruit Roops is one of my favorite words. <laughs> fruit Roops! Fruit Roops is great. I love them. Bring a smile to my face every time. Catwoman, I am here. Bro, I'm looking at the stream right now. It says the bitrate is good, but I'm looking at the stream in like the background or whatever, like how Twitch has it. And oh my God, I just hope the quality isn't like that for you guys because it is looking rough. But that's because Twitch is all like, you're not a partner, so you can't increase the bitrate. <laughs> Why don't you uh, make us millions of dollars? <laughs> oh, fuck you, Twitch, you piece of shit. Eddie just lectured me on the 13 innovations that let him pack this collar with his custom-designed plastic explosive. 
You must be honored. At being what? Your motivation? Come on, the next puzzle room's waiting. I want to be Batman's motivation. Shit, that is an honor. Let's go, Catwoman. Let's go, Selina. Even though you left me at the altar, bitch. Greetings to my costume contestant. Your next challenge is simple. Guide an electric charge to its destination. I hope the varying amounts of pressure don't get to you. Wow, that is simple. Thank you. Uh, where does it start? Oh, it starts there. Okay. Why can't I switch the cat? Oh, I, I did switch the cat one. Okay, cool. Thanks. Don't mention it. Uh, this goes here. You are getting older. Maybe it's time to add a few extra notches to the utility belt. Stop talking about my weight, Catwoman. You know I'm sensitive. My bat thighs are so chunky. Okay, there we go. This is a great riddle, Rittler. It's really a brain teaser, this one. Move over, would you? We did it. As a team, Catwoman, we make a great team. Still don't know why Batman lets you steal shit, though. Oh, uh, she stole a couple of things. I let her get away every now and then. Congratulations to the dementedly dressed duo. Your key awaits. Oh, but what's this? An electrified floor? An electrified floor? All right. It's your job, Catwoman. You still owe me for Arkham City. Goodness. You figured it out already. Oh, her for Arkham City. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Catwoman was like, really? I can't I can't hit him? Thank you. Catwoman was fucking like... She was like, I guess I won't let you die in a rubble. I also love, like, how after that, she just goes like, I guess I can't pick up the, the money that I stole. Let me take this out. For ya? Switch, Catwoman. There we go. Nice ass drop kick you got going there. Oh shit, there's more. Really? I couldn't counter that? I couldn't counter that. Okay, counter. Counter button. Can I not? Hello, counter. Do you not? What the fuck? Counter. Yeah, that button's just not working for some reason. Like, you even saw her do the little counter animation and she just went, nah, man, I'm good. That one was my fault. Your turn, Catwoman. Yeah, her counter button's not working. I don't know why it's not working, but it's not. So I just gotta evade shit. We did it. Good job, Batman. The least Enigma is good to his word. He could have easily gone like, that wasn't the real key, haha, <laughs> JK, and just killed her. Ugh, Eddie really hates you. Whirler is definitely like a guy that hangs out on Reddit way too much. And just like, finds anything to make himself angry. <laughs> and then goes on a, a righteous crusade that's like, we should fucking delete all these accounts. <laughs> After this, I think we should dial it back to known associate for a while. The cat woman I proposed to you. Nothing. 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 A new I love you. By Divinity Church, and I'm waiting too. I would like to see the whole Bruce Wayne and Vicky Vale thing again, right? Like, 
like I agree that like Catwoman's definitely like you know Selena and Bruce is definitely like probably the best thing, right? But I want to see Bruce and Vicky Vale again. I want to see Vicky Vale become more you know. Great news, Bat. I was just hanging out in hell, you know, because you killed me and sent me there. I didn't kill you. You killed yourself, dickhead. That's right. Your dead girlfriend, Talia Al Ghul. Now don't worry. I asked, and she's totally cool with Cat Lady having a go on the old scratching post. She also says, ow, oh, ow, oh, is this a bullet in my sternum or a broken heart? Yeah. <laughs> You're fucked up. Alright. What is next on the agenda? Oh, wait, don't I still gotta look for the fucking... Oh, wait, no, that's not the thing. Where is it? Oh, I guess I can't yet. Yeah, cure Langstrom, locate bat. I guess I just gotta wait until he shows up again or something like that. Um, we got some intel going on here. I have an APC's location, sir. That it's is far, far away, Alfred. You know? Oh shit! Go back! 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 Where is it? Oh shit! <laughs> I did. I'm like, what's that red dot doing? Now where? Oh, you're down here. Alfred, I found a fourth victim. Highly regrettable, Master Bruce. All we can do is hope this body yields some clues as to the killer's identity. Hopefully it does help, Alfred. Hopefully it does. Maybe it won't. Who knows? There we go. Got some stitches? I've seen that pattern of scar tissue before. It's a bite mark. Analyzing its radius points to a species of Salacomorpha. This particular variety of shark is only found in the waters off the coast of North Gotham. Oh boy, got bit by a shark? And lived to tell the tan. <laughs> He's like, ah, oh, the shark's got me. <laughs> Fuck. The victim is fitted it's like that one guy from from Jaws or whatever that just like jumps and then the fucking shark just just grabs him like he's a piece of popcorn out the sky. <laughs> you know what I mean? Anything on your hands? Oh, there we go. Signs of trauma to the upper arm. At some point, titanium screws have been implanted to repair a fractured humerus. Alfred, the victim's name is Lisa Mendez. She had quite a troubled upbringing, sir. Orphaned age nine, foster homes, drug abuse. She developed a talent for surfing, hence the shark attack. Tragically, it's also how she lost her boyfriend. She uh. for a Christian charity uh. on Arizona. She's went she surfing, you're like, hey, ten, bro, and then like a shark just goes, yeah, man, hang ten. <laughs> just snacks you up. What the fuck? Was that a... Is that the Batwing or is that just like a random ass jet? That's the Batwing, right? Looks like the Batwing. I don't know why else it would be circling around like that. Alright, what the fuck was I doing? I can go fuck with Riddler. Oh, I was doing this. Cause I gotta take these guys out. I have an APC's location, sir. Less than half remain. Time to finish them off. Batmobile, come to my side! Oh wow, I just spinned the fuck out. That's not good. Oh, come on. Not gonna lie, I've been, uh... I've been neglecting my Batman reading. <laughs> right? Because last time, 
when I finished the stream, I was like, you know what? I should go read some more Batman, right? Just to, just to nerd out, right? But then I've been, you know, I've been neglecting my Batman reading. Also been neglecting uh, my JoJo reading because I'm rereading Part Seven, right? Because like it's been a long time since I read that, and I never read Part Eight. But I read Part Seven before, right? But it's been a long time, so I forgot everything about it. And I also forgot how fucking long Part Seven of JoJo is. I'm just like, it's long as shit. <laughs> that and how fucked up those characters get. Like they get, they get ripped apart. And it's like, oh man, like it's always a fun thing. And like fucking every part of JoJo where it's like, who's going to be the healer of this arc? Because just seeing these characters getting fucked up left and right. Right? Like part three, they had they had no healer on their team. It wasn't until like part four where it's like, all right, we got to have we got to have some sort of character in each JoJo arc or something that explains why these motherfuckers are healing from their arms, getting blown off their bodies and shit. But not only that, like you see some of the damage these people take and you're like wow you you got like a really stupid high tolerance for pain <laughs> and for those who are watching uh part six right you know stone ocean or whatever like remember when i first read that like i just sat there and i was like man i feel bad for people who don't like body horror because <laughs> right? because you got people growing teeth out of their fucking skulls and shit this panel where someone's like eyeball is melting off their fucking face. <laughs> oh my god, this guy is. This guy is fucking crazy! Like, I've never seen someone just go this crazy on a fucking chase. Are you serious? Like, you're taking all the right turns. Oh my god, and I just fucked that up royally. Don't worry, I'll catch up to you. Don't worry, I got it. I know a shortcut. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, fuck, it's not fine. Where are you at? Oh, you tucked the. You fucking turned around, you son of a bitch. Alright. That's just a bad turn on my part. You're really difficult to chase after, you know that? All these tight ass turn oh motherfucker went through a mall like it's goddamn like it's goddamn awesome powers. You got the dude running around in fucking Charmander costume talking about Godzilla! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> I hate this! Why are you so fucking good at this? Stop it! Alright. Got a little bit of a breather. Oh my fucking god, you're turning these goddamn corners. Like, imagine you were getting chased by the Batman and you see him fucking foibling around like this. And you're just like, man, Batman, you, today's just not your day, huh? I'll take the hit. Why not? This fucking sharp-ass turns, man. And then he takes this fucking turn right here. Oh my god. Oh. You know what? You know what, villain? Or whatever fucking jobber? You might be right about that. There we go. Shit. He went off the cliff, too. Cliff, whatever, balcony, whatever, you know what the fuck I mean. Let's see. Alright. God, this shit is good. You fucking up that spaghetti? <laughs> hot spaghetti, hot spaghetti. Hot spaghetti, hot spaghetti. Remember the wiggles? JoJo's mid? Nah. JoJo part three is mid. Every JoJo fan hates me whenever I say part three is the worst part, but it's true. It's true. The only people who think part three is the best are people who still think Dragon Ball is the hottest thing ever. <laughs> or people, or the same people that's like, when it comes to hand-to-hand -hand combat animation, Naruto's the best, hands down. <laughs> it's like, my guy, okay. 
<laughs> okay. Go watch something else besides Naruto. All right? Then talk to me. But, like, JoJo's all right. You know? Like, I'm not going to sit there and, you know, be like, JoJo's the best thing ever, ever is a must-watch, right? Because it's definitely an acquired taste. Especially when you start seeing, you know, Bucciarati licking up Giorno. <laughs> you can tell if someone's lying through the taste of their sweat. It's like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> Get off of me. Right? But, like... That's alright. <laughs> you know? JoJo's pretty cool. Alright, what is on the agenda for this 59%? Oh man, I don't want to go too far in the story because then we'll have nothing to do. I'm heading to the clock tower, Alfred. Upload the data from the Batwing as soon as the analysis is complete. Very well, sir. We'll have nothing to do but side quests. Oh fuck, did I, um... Did we, uh, do any of, like, most wanted shit? Like the Season of Infamy DLC with, like, Killer Croc and all that other bullshit? I don't think we did. Had to quick Naruto on Episode 3 because he says believe it for the 18th time. Alright. Listen. Listen. When it comes to Naruto... I say Episode 1 all the way to, like, you know, not, not counting all the filler. Episode 1 to, like, the end of, like, Sasuke leaving the village or whatever... That's all good. Then Shippuden happens, and then it's all good until, uh, you know, the pain arc. After that, the whole fourth great ninja war bullshit, it's all garbage. I don't care. I don't care how cool the fights are. It's all trash. But, when it comes to Naruto and his Believe It thing, he doesn't really go that crazy with it. Like, come on, man. Fucking... Like, me growing up watching Naruto over the years, and people going like, Oh, you watch that show? The fucking weird kid saying, Believe it all the time? And I'm like, Alright, calm down. Yes, it's his catchphrase. Yes, it's annoying. He doesn't say it that many times, though. Come on, guys. He says it a lot, but not as much as people go crazy about, right? But it's like... Oh, Naruto's fucking trash now. <laughs> Naruto, Borto, whatever the fuck, I don't care. He do say it too many times. He does say it too many times. I'm not saying he doesn't. But when people are like, oh man, he says it like a hundred times in ten episodes. I'm like, no, and I'm like, chill out, alright? It's not that bad. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and again, it was just fucking like... And honestly, you know, that's just the dub, right? Like, yes, in the sub, he does... In the sub. You know, in... The original, he does, you know, go his, he does say his dip the dio bullshit, right? But, like, you know, it was still during a time where, like, every fucking dubbing company wanted to make anime, like, the most American thing possible, <laughs> right? They're like, we gotta Americanize it, like, you know, like how One Piece was, right? Like, the first couple of dubs for One Piece, you know? Gotta go, uh-oh. His name is Luffy. That's Monkey D. He'll be king of the pirates. <laughs> He's made of rubber. How did that happen? Yo ho ho he had a gun gun. <laughs> like, you know, where they're like, man, they really wanted to make this shit American, huh? Right? Like, even with, like, Teen Titans, like, fucking the first couple of seasons, like, you got this Japanese-ass fucking, you know, I, I, Puffy, Ami, Yumi song playing. You know? Like, the first couple episodes of Teen Titans, the fucking, the intro is in Japanese, right? And then later on, they're like, alright, we gotta Americanize this shit. <laughs> they still did a great job. I love that, Puffy, I'm you. Even like, they're a, damn! Girl, why don't you hit me like that? Hit me, baby, one more time. Harley Quinn. I gotta say, right, first of all, love, just love this, just love the outfit Harley's rocking here, probably my favorite outfit of all time, next to the Jester outfit, because Je Je you know, I want to say Jester's number one, but gothic Lolita shit, I'm sorry, I just, I just love it, but, 
I need to get to the movie studio. Harley's kind of weird with her voice over the years, right? And they even make a fucking joke about that in the Harley Quinn show, right? Where like she has a flat, uh, she's looking at Batman's flashbacks or whatever, and fucking, uh, it's a you know animated series Harley, and she has like that thick Brooklyn accent going, right? And she's like, oh my god, honey, you're trying way too hard. <laughs> she's like, I can't believe I fucking did that. But yeah, she goes from like that thick ass, you know, Brooklyn action, Joyzy accent that she had, right? To like baby goo goo eyes, fucking like, oh, Mr. J, you know, all that crazy shit, right? And then nowadays, it's just like, you know, it's just toned tone down, right? You're like Harley's just being Harley, right? It's, you don't gotta put any spin on it, but. <laughs> They still have her, like, doing the baby voice in fucking this game. Right? That, and as the voice actors get older, it's just get, it just gets harder for them to do the voices. Like, you can't have Timmy Turner singing about Flappy Bob no more. <laughs> right? Hey, Flappy Bob, can't you see what they've done? They needed a pawn, and clearly you were the one. That song makes me sad. Because it's about a man having a fucking midlife crisis. <laughs> and I'm just like, fuck! So, you think she's interested? Who, Harley? <laughs> you kidding me? What? Come on, you want me to spell it out for you? It's just with Joker gone, I thought maybe she, you know. She's got herself some new Jokers now. And even if she didn't, what makes you think you'd stand a chance with her? Yeah. <laughs> You got more of a chance with that Joker chick, with Christina Bell. Right. Two personalities for the price of one. <laughs> I could put in a good word. All you gotta do is ask. Forget it. Screw you guys. I love how every Arkham just like game, there's just like one worse. fucking dude going like, Hey man, you think I can... Yeah, get with Harley? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> like... Every time... You gotta hear at least one Joker goon just go like, Yo, man, what about Harley? <laughs> oh, man. They created a monster. Right? They're like, we created this new character called Harley Quinn so that the Joker can have, like, kind of a side quick. You know, side quick? Did I just really say it like that? Well, kind of a side kick and, like, you know, a little someone to play off of. And then, and then everyone was just like, Oh, my God. Then the world fucking came films. apart. Alright, so... Let's see. Oh, why am I even... It's only two of you with guns. Okay, for some reason I thought... For some reason I thought there was, like, more with guns. I don't know why. Alright, well... Here's what's gonna happen. We're just gonna do that. So I don't have to deal with that bullshit. Anyway. They're my jokers! Don't touch them. I'm collecting them. For reasons. Beautiful. Open. Open. Access denied. Ha <laughs> Nice try, Dad Freak. Harley's changed the voice code access. Dude, the voice act like you can just tell the voice actress is struggling to keep the Harley voice going, you know? Cause it cracks here and there, and you're like you're like, oh man. <laughs> Look at this fucking <laughs> stupid ass shoulder pads Batman got. Oh man, what was it that they used in the movie? Hockey pads or something like that? First fucking outfit. How's it going, Bat Brain? It's been a while. And no, it's not that good. Yeah, idiot. And maybe. Yeah, they give it to me. There you go. Voice calibration complete. Now I can use the voice synthesizer to mimic Harley's voice and open the door. Now I can use the voice synthesizer to contact Zonton and make a bunch of Harley Quinn animations. <laughs> 
hey zone how do you get the raven voice going and like all your animations you got so many of them that's my secret <laughs> something must have happened maybe the radio's busted if i find out that's blacking off i'm gonna have big out to the beauty radio one by one you saying good what the hell someone took them all out uh, it was that stinking bad faced loser Get that chopper down here now! I want more men on the roof and sentry guns covering the entrance! You can just hear how they're struggling so hard with Don't the voice work. It makes me feel bad, alright? What's up, Joker? I need to secure the rooftop. I can use the voice synthesizer to manipulate Harley's men. Oh, poor Harley. Wasting time on those not pale enough imitations when I'm right here in you. What's confusing me is how the hell she found your top secret bat face, bat face. She couldn't find her own reflection in a mirror when I was alive. It's like something was holding her back. <laughs> it's like something was holding Harley back. She's like really competent without the Joker. Huh? Dude, I remember saying that shit for like years. I would just be like, honestly, I wish Harley would be her own thing. Because fucking she gets shit done without the Joker. Right? And we finally have it. They started doing that, what, in like 2013, I think? They started going like, okay, let's uh, let, let's see how we can do this. All right, so this guy is alone, right? Cool. You heard nothing. Oh, what the f How? <laughs> Man just said, what if I looked up? I don't what the fuck? How? Wait, one. what? Why are you taking credit for it? Harley's goons kill me and fucking Riddler's all like, Man, I knew it can take out the Batman. It's like, what the fuck? What? <laughs> oh, shit. That's my adapter for my charger. Oh, I have level ups. I totally forgot about the. Yeah. Oh god, I got a lot of points. Sure, gadgets. Why not? What can we do with these? Uh, glide, glide. More gliding shit. More gliding shit. These are all gliding shit. Let's see. Duration. That's cool, I guess. Area of effect. That's cool. What's this? Instant takedown, I guess, but I don't really care. What do we got for combat? What am I missing here? What is this, the ultra stun? Supercharge stun, I will never use that, but okay. Batmobile. This is armor for my bat tank. Ram charge, all right. Super eject. Recharge. Bat suit. What we got? Shockwave attack. Boost glide attack. Grapple shit. Hmm. Almost fully upgraded. Okay, so let's do this the smart way. <clears throat> we got a big tough guy over there. Uh, what is it? Two guys over there? Talking to each other? Kissing your fellow homie? Yeah, man, go check that out. I'm too high to really do a, uh... Man, I'm too high to do a silent takedown. Alright, just need you guys to separate for a bit. Oh, no. 
You're facing the wrong way I want you to be facing. He's going to turn around a little bit. Oh fuck, why are you coming this way? No 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 Wow Harley, you picked up on that really fucking fast. I guess cause it's on nightmare difficulty, but like Man, she picked up on that shit like ASAP. She said, yo, he's copying my voice. Shut up. Got that big guy over there. He's not really going to be doing much. Um, that guy's coming to help his fellow man. So I'm going to go behind him. Because he's alone. We can't help. Now call. Don't turn around. Fuck. Man, you guys got some really bad eyesight. And that is very advantageous for me. <laughs> Thank God it's the part of the Joker that likes her. Kill him, dumbasses! You don't want to know what he's done to this Joker lady. I ain't never seen a case of Stockholm Syndrome this bad. Don't worry, sweetheart. I'm a psychiatrist. I love that. I love how that's her go-to, like in everything now. It's like Harley, this isn't a good idea. She's like, don't worry, I'm a psychiatrist. I got this. <laughs> Are you guys really like just huddled up over those fucking turrets? Oh my god damn it. And I can't disable them with the uh with the uh what you call it. With the weapon disable bullshit. Right? I don't think I can. Can I? Yeah, no. I wish I could. Make my life easier. I didn't kill the Joker, Harley. He killed himself. No one told the idiot to stab me. Especially in the arm that I'm carrying the fucking cure to. We were at the monarch. Oh my fucking god. Yeah, we saw what you did to Joker. Hmm. Where's the nearest, uh... Oh, that guy's, like, right there, too. All right, here's what's gonna happen. Just wait for that to wait for that turn to kind of do its little round. All right. Oh, I land right in front of the fucking turn. Are you serious? God damn it. Well, anyways, I can take this guy out, so. Because he's like far the fuck away. I don't like the sound effects that play for this. Because <laughs> just look how out of sync it is. It's gross. All right. Use the voice synthesizer to clear out the thugs guarding the elevator. I can't because she literally told them not to listen to the. Vo Shut up, Batman. Shut up. If that thing starts working again, I'm gonna be very upset. Oh wait, there's a regular ass guy over here. Oh wait, what the? F Did they leave the? Oh. Let him go. Find him. They did leave it. What the? Joker. 
What are you doing? So these boys stuck by Harley, eh? Good for them. Well, obviously not good for them, but it's nice to see loyalty. All Three day. left? Ugh, looks like I'm running out of idiots! That's a good thing if you're running out of idiots, Harley. Because then that means you only got smart guys on your team. Alright, just disabled these for insurance. Now they have zero levels of protection on them. And I can just disable all their guns, but what's the fun in that? Oh wait, what the fuck? Where, Where is this guy? I can just do multi gear. Why not? Try my best not to abuse that move too much, because I mean, it's too easy, right? That's the thugs dealt with. Time to go after Harley. I didn't destroy it. Watch me choke on my last lap. That I did do. And then, after killing me, you said you would have shared. <laughs> you couldn't admit I'd won, could you? Not even as a parting gift. But now I'm on the inside. Ooh, we both know the truth. Yes, you killed before. And tonight, I'll make you do it again. There was no reason for me to do that, I just wanted to. Oh, I can't use my... I can't use the ice takedown? Oh, damn it. Well, what's the fun in that? Hey, Robin, how you doing, buddy? I'm taking out the guy with the shield. Oh, I hit the wrong guy. That's my boy Wonder! Like, boy, I wonder. Why the fuck are you wearing that? <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, I fucked up my own combo, damn it. Imagine if this was the outfit that we still had Robin in today. What the hell? Oh. <laughs> I thought... <laughs> I got confused because, like, I'm like, isn't he supposed to... I'm like, isn't he supposed to be, like, you know, bare leg down there, right? But I'm looking at the side and he had like wrinkles on it and I was like, oh, he's wearing, he's wearing pants. <laughs> he's wearing, he's wearing leggings. Ah, Harley, you'll come back for me. The infected, where are they? They're not infected. 
Their Joker. Harley's got him. And they ain't leaving this place until you're a corpse. How did she find us? How did she get in? I'd let him know if I were you. He's not always in such a good mood. How should I know? I guess she's smarter than you think. Not likely. I mean, to be fair, Batman, you have fallen for her traps a couple of times before. You know, just saying. I'm locking the whole building down. No one leaves until we account for the infected. She just walked in. No alarm, no warning. Something's wrong with the voice recognition. Maybe. There's no trace of a hack. If they're still here, then the facial recognition software will find them. Got them. Albert King's time for everyone's favorite part. Like he's up for a comeback bout. <laughs> the most rememberable part about this game. Christina Bell to the haunted house set. Harley's We're gonna save it for last though, because I mean you have to, right? Christmas on the soundstage. I can't tell what he's got planned. Also, the game never tells you this, right? right we know where they are. But you walk on over here. And I think it's right here. This is where you get the freeze grenade. You can go the whole entire game without this damn thing. Right? But it's over here. So, you want to pick that up when you can. Right? We're going to play as Robin. Why? Because Robin's cool. I like Robin. Oh, hey. Were you sitting there the whole time? Albert King, AKA the I didn't mean to life. click on... I didn't... I, I wanted to fire talk fire to him. Second new victim of Joker's blood. Henry, what happened? I don't know. I think something hit me on the back of the head. Can I talk to him as Robin? Fuck up away, Batman. Nope, I can't talk to him as Robin. They were crazy. You need to find them. Help them. What the fuck you think I've been doing for the past couple of months? All right. Keep this door locked, Henry. Unless it's me or Batman, don't let anyone through. I'm pretty sure I said this before, right? In, like, uh, one of the other streams. But, besides for, like, Arkham, the way he looked in Arkham City, I don't like, I don't like the default look for, uh, for Robin in the Arkham series, right? Like, they just made him look as, like, plain as possible. <laughs> right? I'm not saying this outfit is my favorite one either, right? This is just me goofing around. But, uh... I don't know. New 52 Robin, Damian Wayne Robin. People don't like Damian Wayne, but the outfit for Damian Wayne, I like Damian Wayne's outfit. You know? Tim Drake's Red Robin, that looks cool. Um... What do I, what do, I do for this? Stage A. I got this. Don't worry. I got this. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I got this. No, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. I'm be honest. I fucking forgot what the hell I'm supposed to be doing. Well, how the hell to get over? Oh wait, no. I just can't go there yet. So which one is stage C? The one I want to go to? No, I want to save that for last. We're going to A. I mean B. We're going to B. I ain't going anywhere near Bell. She's nuts. She jumped on Hudson. Scratched out one of his eyes, right in front of everyone. What did Harley do? Nothing, I tell you. What's up, boys? Oh shit, I didn't see him. And Batman's just standing there not doing shit. There we go. How'd I do, Batman? How'd I do, Dad? Are you winning some?
Robin, you wait here while I get behind him. We'll take him down faster if we work together. Do I join you? You'll know when you see it. Man, look at that fucking kick. You sure took your time back there. I was testing your self-control. Did I pass? You need practice. Come on. All right, Batman, you fucking dickhead. <laughs> Man, you took your time back there. I was practicing your self-control. Bullshit. It's like when uh, <laughs> Batman's kind of like when you're playing video games with your kid brother or something like that, and he kicks your ass, then you're like, you're like, I was just testing you. And then, and then you pick the fucking most overpowered character next. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I had a situation like that recently, right? Cause fucking, cause I was uh, chilling with like my nephew or whatever. And he's like, man, multiverses is cool. And I'm like, eh, I prefer Smash Brothers, right? Because Multiverse has that whole, like, uh, hitbox priority shit going on, right? So, like, characters who have just, like, giant fucking hitboxes are just overall better. <laughs> so, like, you know. So, I, I played him, and I was like, I picked Wonder Woman. He picked, uh, I forgot who the fuck he picked. I think he picked, like, Jake or some shit. I don't fucking know. Right? And he beat me. Right? that and I didn't even fucking have like my controls set it the way I wanted to because we were playing off of his console or whatever and I play that game primarily on PC whenever I do play it which is not very much but anyways so I lost and I was like I was like man I only lost because I picked Wonder Woman right but no I lost because I just I just was bad All right let's be honest but I was like I only lost because I picked Wonder Woman and she can only kill at like 120 percent or some bullshit so then after that I said, I was just testing you, and then I picked Jake, and then I won flawlessly because Jake is overpowered as shit. <laughs> I mean, not Jake, um, Finn. I picked Finn, my bad. It's like, you only won because I was testing you. Now time to pick an overpowered character. Good job, Robin. I totally told you to go down there and take that guy out in front of the other guy with a gun on purpose. I just want to see if that guy's like alone or not. Where's the uh? Okay, they're all going there. All right. I mean, I do have my fear takedown, right? Can Robin use the fear takedown? No, he can't. And I can't freely switch between Batman. I have to, like, actively call him in. Okay. That guy right there. You did not put me in a... I did not put myself in a good situation here. Um... Oh, wait. He's going away. There we go. yourself how can robin glide with such a small cape i don't know <laughs> i wish i could fucking glide like that imagine if people just knew how to glide just straight up like you see motherfuckers you just be seeing motherfuckers jump off of buildings all the time wait what oh he's over here like, where the fuck did he go? Damn, Batman, you didn't have to land directly on his fucking nuts. <laughs> I feel like there should be music playing for this section, but there's not. Which makes it... I'm not gonna lie, it makes it a little bit boring. <laughs> Like, I don't get what's up with this game, and, like, sometimes the music just doesn't play. Mm. Okay, so two of you are just hanging out together. That's fun. And I'm assuming doing the dual takedown is loud as shit. 
Take him out, Batman. Oh fuck. Take him out, Robin. He's piling up the bodies. Snap flat? Oh shit, I forgot he had this shit. Which way is he facing? You won't turn around, right? Oh, can I not put it on him? Damn it. I thought that's how that worked. There we go. Wish I had some music to go with it, but you know what? The game just doesn't want to do it. I can't blame it. All right, Batman. Did it? You got against me. I'm practically your prisoner too. Let's get her back in the cell. If you fuck that up, oh, if you like fuck you that up, Robin gets tackled by Christina, right? And then Batman goes, "Man, you suck." <laughs> we did a great job, Robin. I could use a break, and Christina here seems like prime Robin material. What? She looks up to you. She wants to spend all her time with you. I doubt she'd mind the awkward silences. Okay. <laughs> I got confused for a moment. Because he's like, he's like, Christina looks like prime ramen material. And I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about, Robin? Are you trying to, trying to, trying to get Christina? <laughs> what? That was like weird. Keep up, Robin. <laughs> nerd. <laughs> it felt like a nerd moment, I'm not gonna lie. I'll take her back to the cells. He's like, you know, in the awkward silences, and I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Henry, Robin's heading your way. Let him in when he gets there. Of course. I take it this means you stopped one of those monsters. Yes, but I'm not done yet. So. This Robin seems like a real improvement on If you don't know who the fuck the Arkham Knight is by this point. First of all, man, you must be really bad at, like, puzzles. Second of all, uh, the game basically just spoils itself here. Because there's literally no reason to even, like, do what they're doing. <laughs> there's no reason for them to do the scenes that they're about to start doing. So, like... Besides so just, Poor little Batman. Oh, besides just like filling you in, just in case you didn't know. Oh, you're still. Fun. I, aren't you supposed to be going? Get. You know what I crave right now? Like real talk, no funny. I want like a Snickers. I haven't had a Snickers in like months. Honestly, I think the last time I had a Snickers was like last year. Shit. And that was before everybody started complaining about the dick vein. You know what I mean? I want a Snickers like really bad right now. Nah, we're gonna save Johnny Charisma for last because... 
This is better. Well, this one's not better, but, you know, Johnny Charisma is better, so we're going to save him for last because it's funny. And it's my favorite part of this goddamn game. I'm just going to walk away, turn the corner, come back. Usually they start talking shit about Batman, about, like, how he just walked away or whatever, okay? But, hey, go press that button. Okay, but I guess it doesn't seem right. I'm gonna do it anyways. The Quinn told me to. What's up, bitch? Wait, can I not hit that guy? There we go. I thought Robin would be here by now. Oh, look, it's Robin. Hey, Robin, what you doing, buddy? Someone there? Jason, I, I thought you were dead. Is that you? Batman's not coming to save you, Jason. Coco. It's been six months now, Jason. I think it's time to face that. Who's you? That's the spirit. You're a real chip off the old bat block. Not that it'll do you any good. Why won't you just kill me? What? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not going to kill you. Not yet, anyway. You're my sidekick now. Imagine it. You and me, out on the streets, starting fights, picking on the weak. A regular dynamic duo. Just like Bats and that new kid of his. No, he wouldn't. You think? So, this isn't Batman, then? Oh, weird. The pointy ears are usually a dead giveaway. <sighs> I didn't want to show you that photo. Really, I didn't. But, well, it was the only way for you to get closure. Now, I know it hurts, but sometimes you gotta be cruel to be kind. I saw you running, you son of a bitch. Don't come walking in here thinking you're cool. You okay? <laughs> Just fully bolting down the fucking hallway. Are you okay? <laughs> oh, man. He's like, I almost missed my cue. Oh, shit. The lights are coming back on. <laughs> Fuck. Can we redo that take? Is the only game to ever get you to cry? Really? I never cried because of Jason's death. I never cried because of Jason's death because fucking everybody wanted it to happen. It's literally how it happened. There was a number on the back of the fucking comic that's just like, call the number if you want Jason to live or die, and then everyone said kill him because no one liked Jason. Literally, the fans killed Jason. And now the fans just want Damien to die. <laughs> right? And to be fair, to be fair, the Jason, uh, the death of Jason Todd, like, you know, it's a, it's a whole event, right? But like, well, it's a whole event, and like every other retelling forgot, forgets to tell you that the person who betrayed him was his mother. But anyways, they don't talk about that part no more for some reason. But like. Like, if it wasn't for the death of Jason Todd or whatever, they would have never made him a more interesting character th that he is right now, right? Because before then, he was literally just a carbon copy of Dick Grayson. Like, the same origin story and everything. Like, you know, he was in the circus, his family was killed by the mob, blah, 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 right? And then it wasn't until the reboot where they were like, nah, he's just some street punk. <laughs> right? Smash him. 
And I think they introduced Jason because they started like making Nightwing his own thing, right? You know, Robin started becoming Nightwing. And now instead of wanting Jason to die, everyone wants Jason to stay, right? And we all want Damien to die because he's an asshole. Damien's literally like what Jason used to be. But I like Damien though. Because at least Damien has like the excuse that he was raised by assassins, so that's why he's just like so fucking an asshole. He's also raised to be like the best of them. Kinda like Cassandra. <laughs> Which is like the first time he meets Cassandra Kane, right? He's all like, oh, so you're supposed to be the killing machine that the uh, that uh Lady Shiva fucking created or whatever. And he's uh he just looks at Cassandra, he's like, Yeah, I can beat your ass. <laughs> Like just straight up one of the first things he says to her. He's like, you yeah, know, I can I can definitely kick your ass. Which is obviously a fucking lie, because Cassandra can beat the shit out of people. Like if Damien and Cassandra were to go on an all-out fight, Cassandra Like, unlike Damien, we're like We're like, um Oh fuck, this guy is piecing me up. Jesus. But unlike Damien, where like, he was, you know, his fighting style, like, it's kind of like a whole, like, jack of all trades type of thing going. Like, Cassandra, her fighting style is like, it's not focused on, on like, having a drawn out battle. She just goes for straight up kill points. Oh, fuck, he had a knife. Not even a knife, a bottle. Oh, yeah. Nice work. Really I personally think they fucked up the whole entire uh You can carry him. <laughs> you can carry him, Robin. <laughs> Why? Because I'm the boss. What did this guy eat? A car? Um Yeah, but I, I personally think they fucked up the whole like Arkham Knight thing. Like the moment the guy opens his mouth and starts talking to Batman, I'm like, Oh, that's Jason Todd. That that's Jason Todd. I'll take this, this guy back to the cells. It's not that hard. <laughs> Alfred, we're almost done here, and we need to make up for lost time. Prepare another upgrade for the car. Absolutely, sir. Would you please make your choice? Well, I make my choice. Doesn't matter, I already got the upgrades. I don't fucking care. Excellent, sir. With this in the Batmobile, the malicious tanks are destined for the scrap heap. Go lock them up, Robin. You need the weight training. So the big lump fails. Say I'm surprised. Like that aging lump of muscle memory was ever gonna get the better of you. So are you ready, Bats? You ready to come see me? I've got such wonderful games for you to play. I like games? I like Monopoly? I actually don't like Monopoly. Monopoly's pretty boring for me. Because I win all the damn time. Oh shit. Like, I love when, like, I'm playing not Monopoly and, like, someone's just like, oh, man, that was a bad move. And I was like, really? I look at that as an investment. And then it comes full circle and I start beating their ass. And I'm like, haha. Just looking at them like, I'm like, I'm like, doesn't matter. <laughs> I got the part that I wanted. I don't care what businesses I had to sacrifice for it. That wall doesn't look right. You should just look at it. You know? Alright. This door doesn't work. Oh man. Robin, what are you doing under there? What 
do we have here, then? <laughs> wakey, wakey. What's wrong? You think I'm going to hurt you? Why? I'm not the bad one here. Oh, no, 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 no. It's Batman. He's abandoned you. Thrown you away like an unwanted puppy. Can I have him, Daddy? Oh, please, 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 please. I'll take real good care of him. Anything to make you happy, Princess. Just make sure people know he's yours. We don't want him to end up back here, do we? No, we don't, Daddy. I want to keep him forever. No, no, please. Please, no, no. <laughs> That's Troy Baker, right? Everything okay? You look spooked. I'm fine, Jason. Tim. You haven't done that for a while. There's one left. Come on. I'll say that one voice line right there. That's probably the thing that gets me the most out of it. I'm fine, Jason. And Tim. And he's like, ooh. Ooh, that, ha that hasn't happened for a while. Whoa. Right? I'll say that one voice line. That one gets me. Right? Why don't you come over here and let us make merry together? This lock is mechanical with no digital components. I won't be able to use the remote hacking device. All right. Henry, I need your help. Of course. Anything. I need you to send me the CCTV footage from the camera in stage C. You can use the computer in that I'm going to turn off the audio for myself, honestly, because I want to <laughs> I want to hear I want to hear the next part you can isolate the yeah. data using the panel on the right slide your finger along the dial and like this oh this technology is very Ooh, this technology is very I can see the technological now highlight the track for the last 10 minutes Done. so i see thanks henry all righty We got we got zero. I said that out loud. I gotta be careful when I say zero because that's the name of my dog, and every time I I say it, sometimes without, you know, I say I say the number sometimes without thinking, and then I I'll turn around and my dog's like running towards me. <laughs> He's like, you call me. We got treats. All right, what we got? Boop. Gotta remember it's a mirror, so it's backwards. So boop boop. I'm doing it like in real life. Boop boop boop. Okay. So boop. Boop boop boop. That isn't the right sequence. Fuck. I should try again. Damn it! I'm mad now. Let me put that away, because I can zoom in. There we go. So, zero. Oh, I pressed the wrong one. There we go. Yeah. That's what it is, right? Am I looking at that correctly? No, I'm not. It's a seven, right? Yes, yeah, it's a seven. That's the wrong No, I'm an idiot. Scanning the video. Oh, it's on the same side. Maybe I could see the Alright, fuck me, I'm stupid. Different angle. Fuck me, I'm an oh wait. I love how I said it's reverse, so you gotta pay attention to it. Ha 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 but I'm still stupid. Yeah, so it's that's what it is. 
it's reverse because it's the it's a mirror and then i don't take my own advice that's great amazing idiot you ready robin I love this part so much. Charisma's wearing a bomb desk. There are five other bombs around the room. Got it. Don't be shy. There's room up here on stage for two. <laughs> no, really, I insist. I'm gonna be quiet for this one, because why would I talk over it? You know. Disarmed. Time to take down Charisma. Oh, yeah. I think I can taste your fear. Now that my time is near, I'm in your blood. I'm so alive. I only wish you'd let me drive. It won't be long till I make you kill. Who'll be laughing then? Barbara's dead and I'm laughing. Ah! Jason's all dead and I can't stop laughing. I'm even dead and I can't stop laughing. What else can I do? No, I'm part of you. I drove you around the bend and I'm laughing. I'm with you till the end and I can't stop laughing. I killed all your friends and I can't stop laughing. I'm cock a doodle doo. All because of you. I'm stuck in your head and I'm laughing. Ah, All right, and then he starts repeating himself. <laughs> your parents are dead and I can't stop laughing. <laughs> no encore. Such a fucking asshole. Dude. I remember the first time I fucking heard this shit, I started laughing that I failed like fucking five times in a row. No problem. Call it my contribution to music. Oh man. Get back to the cells. Uh, yeah, but Joker, I didn't ask to be serenaded exactly, but it was great though. Now that I let that whole entire song play out though, I'm definitely gonna get a copyright strike on YouTube. Not copyright strike, but you know, it's gonna pop up. It's gonna be like, eh, there's a song. Because Warner Brothers is really crazy about that shit. My fucking Arkham Origins playthrough or whatever, you know, those streams that I uploaded on YouTube, they got fucking hit hard by that. It's like, oh, it's our version of a fucking, of, you know, the Christmas song because it's Joker, you know, fucking, damn it, <laughs> Warner Brothers just, they just love it, right? I know, right? I love it. No, I had the singing voice of a soprano once. I mean, I had a vocal cord. Like, even Batman Arkham City, when I put that playthrough up there, they were just like, oh man, these songs belong to us! <laughs> and I was like, alright, chill the fuck out, I get it. Oh, 
Oh wait, I'm going the wrong way. Wait, no. That was the right way. I got confused. Take me on home to the asylum. Never alone in the asylum. Batman! Hey, Batman! Where's your little bird friend? You two have a fight? Oh, he didn't fly away all upset now, did he? Oh, why? You want to come in? Nah, nah. That ain't happening, buddy. Why would you ever shit talk the Batman? Yeah. You know? Princess of Crime didn't like you kidnapping back her brand new Jokers. She kidnapped him first. Just turn the corner. And you just come back. Uh, right. She said he'd show. That's like just screaming, you know, talking shit about Batman right in front of him is literally just like walking in Metropolis and going like, Yo, Superman's a bitch. <laughs> His super hearing ass. He just goes, "What was that?" Open the gate now. No problem. Like Superman can hear everything all at once. It's like you definitely know he's hearing Lex Luthor every day, just talking shit nonstop. I figured I could handle you by myself. He doesn't take you very seriously. Neither do I. Damn, that's cold hearted, dog. He's asking for it. Oh, think you're funny, huh? Open the gate! You don't need to open the gates to shoot him, Harley. If you think you're taking him back to the cell, think again! He's got the Joker in him. They all have. That means they're mine! I'm taking him! Now that would be highly irresponsible of me to allow that to happen. Batman took Mr. J away from me once already. Look at that stance Robin got going on. You hear that, Batman? I know you're out there. Yeah. Where are you, bat freak? What, afraid to face us? How about that? You're a trigger pull away from getting your little birdie brains blown out. And your boss don't care one bit. Joker always said the bat was mean. Didn't care about no one but himself. <laughs> Not like Mr. J. Uh, is this gonna go on much longer? He looks after me. Love me with all his heart. I want to listen to what she has to say because I never sat never here for it. Me. You know? Not like that big coward who's out there hiding. I'm talking to you, Batman. Show your face. Or Robin here gets it. Right between the eyes. Blow his head off. Do it. You hearing this, Batman? Yeah, he's hearing it. <laughs> yeah, he's hearing I also want to point out, did can we not get like two separate voice actors for fucking Jason Todd and fucking Tim Drake? Because they're both fucking uh, Troy Baker, right? At least it sounds like Troy Baker. Sorry, Harley. Didn't have to knock her out so fucking hard like that, Jesus. Dead, Robin. Robin fucking choke slammed the shit out of her. <laughs> like, god damn it, dude. Where the fuck did you get dual blades? Robin out here with his fucking mid-air combo breakers and shit. Now I'm the Batman. Get it? Because I have a bat and I'm a man. Oh my god, you telling me my fucking punch wasn't fast enough to stop that guy? Ugh. <laughs> you have to punch him right in the neck like that, Batman. All those crunchy noises. Oh, you saw his fucking arm bent? I'm impressed. What can I say? I'm irresistible. We need to get back to the cells. You take Brown. I've got Quinn. 
<laughs> I love how Batman's just like, fuck it. Like, this uh, real shit. I bet some developers were sitting in the room. They're like, listen, we can't have ba we can't have Robin carry Harley. We got to come up with some sort of excuse why Batman has to do it. So the players can just live a bit of a fantasy going on right here. Kind of like when you just find her in fucking Arkham City. And like, you can just keep putting the tape on and off <laughs> again. It's like, oh, look, it's Harley tied up here just for you. It's like, fucking God, you creeps. <laughs> the only person Batman wants to pick up, he's like, I'll pick up Harley. Why not? <laughs> you did that to her? I mean, why wouldn't you, right? Cause she's like, stop, don't you dare. And then you just keep putting it back on her. And like Batman's just doing it without even a smile or anything. No, no, no. Oh no, they're dead. Don't move, Robin. You killed them, didn't you, Henry? <laughs> oh, Bat, you're so easy. That's what to see the good in people. Especially when they're bad. I gotta say, the whole Joker toxin infection shit has to be the most comic book shit ever, right? Because you have uh, Henry, you have Henry here, right? And actually, let me check his bio. Maybe, maybe he did have like some sort of like tech job or something like that. But you have someone who's like fucking. He's like, um. He's like, man, I'm not good with technology or whatever, right? But then it's like, oh, now the Joker toxins in him so suddenly fucking he just knows everything i guess i don't fucking know no matter how many obstacles get in his way the strongest always survives you're batman the moment he points the gun away you should have just knocked him out still you know what they say about evolution guns not being pointed at you right now there's two of you Even amoebas can you can just you can literally fly across okay you're a fine machine, fool. Even I don't know which side to root for now. Goodbye. It's been educational. I changed my mind. Kill, kill, kill him. Now that's unexpected. You're gonna be spectacular. <laughs> the last joker that other cells for you i need to stop scarecrow when i'm done i'm locking myself away what if you fail you'll be too dangerous i won't be able to stop you bruce have you ever read this book called the batman who laughs what if that happens <laughs> what what if that happens What if you just Joker toxin us all and then next you know you have us wrapped the fucking collars wrapped around our necks? I also, I'm surprised that Harley doesn't know that Batman's potentially another Joker even though Robin says it right in front of her. Like that would have been a little bit of fun where she goes like, wait a minute, you're another jo oh, okay, <laughs> right? <laughs> it's not safe with Joker inside me, okay. That's what you think, Robin. I did not need to know how that cowl came off of his head. It looked very weird. Man, Batman, you got a long ass neck. I know, Tim. I'll stop Scarecrow. Multiple militia forces converging at your location. It's the Arkham Knight. He's found you. I'll take care of it, Alfred. Are you sure? There are rather a lot of them. I said I'll handle it. You'll be fine. Of course I will. You train me. One is the lonely 
luckiest number that you'll ever do. Two can be as bad as one, but the loneliest number is the number one. Jason! 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 Press X to Jason. I'll press X to Jason. Don't worry about Rob and Batsy. I'm sure he won't die. No, family's hurting anyway. Hey, hey! I never finished my story about Jason Todd, did I? Well, I gotta put the cowl on because I can't let Harley see who I am. No, no, no. Even though. She already knows in the comics, <laughs> even at the time of this game coming out. Have you got something to tell the nice man, Jason? My name. Jason Todd. Who do you hate? Batman. Excellent. Of course you do. Did you get that, Bats? Kid's not yours anymore. He's mine. Mine, mine. To do with as I wish. Hey. I never asked. a tattletale. That's why I like to work alone. No one to spoil the punchline. You should try it sometime. After all, you've seen what happens when you drag your friends into this crazy little game of ours. He said the thing from the killing joke. I get it. Haha. <laughs> Man, Harley, you saw that shit? That was crazy, right? Alright, well, fuck you. Get in the cell. Oh, now you want to give me Spidey Sense game? All right, whatever. Fuck it, get your ass in there. What the hell are you doing? The right thing. Trust me. Listen to me. We can help you. You don't need to do this, Alfred. Alfred. Son of a bitch. You cut my communications. That's some really good facial animations because it's not the same face as, you know, the default Robin. So that was actually really fucking good. I'm not going to lie. Fine. Faulty comms unit. I'm looking at it now. Thank God. With all that's happening, I fear the worst. Speaking of which, the Arkham Knight has ordered us Ooh, those cheekbones you got, Robin. to lock it down and reassert control. Thankfully, the weapons generator upgrade you requested is ready for collection. Thanks, Alfred. Thanks, Alfred. All right, let me do a quick thing and check what time it is. All right, I still got like about an hour, All right? So what I wanna do is actually exit the game right now. We're gonna change some outfits because you gotta have multiple, you know, you gotta check out that get up, right? All right, what did we do before? We did, I think we did do New 52 Batman. We did Flashpoint. I think I did the Batman Beyond skin. I'm not sure if I did or not. I don't think I did. No, I didn't. Cause I did, I did Thomas Wayne and then I did Adam West, Dark Knight Returns. <laughs> Damn Batman, all right. Batman v Superman, which I never got this outfit because it's like, he has like no armor on whatsoever. It's just literally like a bunch of cloth. Bat Ninja. Hmm. 1989 movie. 
I will say my favorite one is the Batman Beyond one because I love the high-tech Batman shit. I just do. But let's go with that. And Robin, let's change you. Again, fucking just... Look how boring it is. Look how boring it is. This is default Robin. You know what? Fuck the 1985, man. We're going to run with fucking <laughs> this one. Why not? Yeah. New 52 Robin's pretty all right. You know. One year later, Robin. Older. Wiser. Original Tim Drake skin. I like Red Robin. All right, we're gonna switch Selena back to this one because I'm gonna be honest, I just don't like I just don't like the classic TV series Cavalry. Like it just it doesn't look good. <laughs> all right, Nightwing's Nightwing, you know, and all that other bullshit. And Batmobile, I eh, we don't really need to change it, all right? Did we did we do the blue one yet? I don't think we did. Back to the story. Your parents are dead, and I can't stop laughing. Look who's laughing now. See, Robin, at least you don't have to sit in there in your tidy whities anymore. Tim, there's something you need to know. Something's happened. No, not her. Don't say it. Barbara's. She's dead. I'm sorry. Let me out. I can't. They're targeting everyone close to me. I won't let them get you as well. Bruce, please. I have to do this. No. You son of a bitch! How dare you! You don't get to decide! Get away from me! Go! You happy that I at least I at least changed your outfit before I told you, Robin? This cape looks really fucking nice, though. Let's be honest. This is a really nice looking cape. Come on. Hey, Harley. How you doing? I didn't do that. I just looked at him. I looked at him funny, and he killed himself. He couldn't handle it. Oh, she does know. Okay. Hmm. Well, believe it, Harley. Maybe if I become Mr. J, me and you can live a life of luxury. This is a really good ass looking cape. <laughs> Hang on a gosh darn minute. If Henry wasn't immune to mad clown disease, then that means there is no cure after all. You had Featherhead slaving away when he could have been saving Barbara. <laughs> Who the fuck is laughing? It was cruel, selfish, and had horrible consequences. Oh, if you only meant it. Now come on, let's go show Gotham what a real dynamic duo looks like. Where's that sound coming from? <laughs> it's a sound of laughter. Is that just like a sound that plays in the background when Joker shows up? I never noticed that before. Oh my fucking god. Alright, that's cool. Alright. Also, I wanted to actually look at this real quick. Where is... Occupation. Principal and teacher. Wait, he's a principal and a teacher? What the fuck? I just wanted to see if he had any like... Uh, if he had any like, you know good technical skills yeah the most comic book shit thing ever it's like you get the joker toxin in you suddenly your fucking iq is like 330 or something i don't fucking know beyond genius levels mega mind levels The fuck you mean Batman doesn't retreat? Hello? <laughs> what are you talking about? Of course Batman retreats. You think Ivy's gonna stop Scarecrow's gas from working? Man, they ought to give her a medal. Alright. 
Oh, there's nothing with... I hate that I have to wait for the penguin shit. Uh, let's go grab ourselves one of these cars. We have an APC's location, sir. Just three more of the malicious top men to put behind bars. This is a really good-ass looking cape. This is like, what, the fourth time I've said it now? But it looks really good. I'll be honest, I never really used this outfit before. It looks really good. I want another Batman game so bad. <laughs> I mean, we're getting Gotham, you know, we're getting Gotham Knights, but, you know, I want another Rocksteady Batman game. But Rocksteady doesn't want to make another Batman game. That's why they're doing Suicide Squad. Come on, Batmobile. Took your sweet ass time. Wait a minute. I was gonna chase that fucking car, but. There it is. Alfred, I found a fifth victim. I feared you would, sir. Alright. What are we working with here? There we go. This wound is relatively fresh, inflicted while the victim was still alive. Abrasion to the epidermal layers confirms the somewhat crude removal of the tattoo. Somewhat crude removal? What did you do? Fucking cut your flesh off? Like, Jesus. The position of this scar indicates the victim underwent surgery to remove one of their kidneys. And dog, you got some chunky ass feet. <laughs> a plate made of tantalum, used here for a cranial fracture, most probably the result of a boxing accident. The victim's callous knuckles would only be acquired. A boxing a accident? Fighter. Bullshit accident. Alfred, the Ain't no fucking accident. People putting goddamn it screws in their gloves. Donated to a twin sister who unfortunately died. This seems to have been the catalyst for her boxing pursuits, and hence the cranial injury. She went missing in Huntsville, Alabama. Do the details of the disappearance. In Alabama, of course you're gonna go missing there. <laughs> How many jokes can we make to offend people? I've come across some leasing documentation that appears to have been falsified. Someone is attempting to cover their tracks. Find out anything you can, Alfred. We couldn't have done anything to prevent these deaths, but we can still save others. All right, I need to find one more body. And there you are. All right. Let's go chase down this car. No, no. We have an APC's location, sir. Just three more of the malicious top men to put behind bars. Bat car calling all the four team. Enemy vehicle in pursuit. Did that motherfucker just say it's bat car? <laughs> Did I hear that correctly? Way to shoot your own fucking teammate, idiot. Shit, I'm gonna spin out. Man, gotta love this rubber band AI. It's great. I mean, it is great, but let's be honest. I kinda wanna ram them. But since the AI won't let me, get the fuck out the way. This is going way better than the other one. Did you just eat that missile? Damn it. What the 
fuck? What is with this guy? He eat my missiles and shit. You're still going. Oh my god. There we go. Come on, I want to ram him so bad. Come on, I'm almost there. Get ahead of him, down. Damn it! Alright. You just had to turn. Another lieutenant gone. There can't be many left. Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. Damn it. Who the fuck is shooting at me? Really, guys? Wrong button. Um, let me see. I actually want to go look for Azrael real quick because I think ready. I might know where he's He'll at. Have left a burning bat symbol on a rooftop for me to find. Oh hey. Oh, I'm not close enough. Shit. I was close enough. I'm gonna have to take these guys down too on my own time. Oh my fucking god. Why are you? Why do you keep getting higher? Stop gaining altitude. I'm pressing the button to detonate. There we go. Batman just hit a serpent drone. Don't know why it takes forever for that to go through. Alright. I think Azrael might be over here. Also, let me make sure that I look at this mine over here so I can record it for later. So I can do that off screen. Because there's like a lot of them. There's like, what, 20 of these motherfuckers? Like, it's a ridiculous amount. And then like, some of them you gotta fight like 50 fucking tanks or some shit. Alright, I think Azrael should be like over here somewhere or something right now. He should be. There's the firefighter. Alright, Azrael. First of all, let me... Let me get situated in my chair because... Jesus, sitting in this chair for, for a long period of time is not... Does not feel good. These gaming chairs are fucking garbage. Get these racer gaming chairs. All the cool, all the cool YouTubers are doing it. You sit on it for longer than an hour, and it feels like a fucking piston's getting shoved up your ass. Oh, there he is. Azrael, I knew you were here, buddy. Show me what you got for that order of Saint Dumbass. I am ready for another challenge. I'm ready to fuck this challenge up. Cause it's nightmare difficulty. I'm gonna fuck it up royally. Oh yeah, I'm gonna fuck this up. You ain't never hitting me. Try and get rid of the big guy first. Oh come on, you did not faint, you son of a bitch. No. That should have counted, right? I should have gotten hit by that, but it didn't count. They gave me a bit of the doubt for that one. Nope! Oh, that was close. Are you picking your homeboy up? Oh, come on. You were supposed to do some crazy shit. No! <laughs> I pressed the counter button instead of the dodge. Fuck, I'm so mad. 
Oh, shut the fuck up, Batman. This is the most, like, up your ass thing ever. Don't get hit One once. Meanwhile, this whole entire game, I was getting fucked up. Really? The challenge was too great. The challenge was too great. Motherfucker hit me in the back of my dome piece. I press the counter button. Go fuck yourself. All right. Let me redeem All right. Let me stop trying to be fancy and just do it, right? There we go. I love how that fucking wall ruined my combo, by the way. You have shown great skill. I'll return when you're ready for the next challenge. No matter how difficult the test, I will prevail. How much more we got for you, Azrael? You know, Batman, I was looking at the files, and it says here that Azrael uses this thing called, uh, Free Flow Combat? <laughs> I wonder what that's about. Alright. I think the final thing for Azrael is, like, up on the, uh... Up on the... Oh, there's Mr. Freeze, by the way. <laughs> Over there, on the Titanic. <laughs> um... I think it's up on, what is it, like the big statue in the water near Miyagami, which I, I gotta say, I, I love, I love that they call it the island Miyagami Island, because for those, for those that don't, let me put my glasses, well, I'm already wearing glasses, but let me, you know, do my little nerdy, let the sun rays reflect off my glasses as I push them up. I fucking love how, uh, Oh, hey, Joker, what do you got to say? The Halcyon Days, you dumbass. Yeah, but uh, for those who don't know, Miyagami is the name of the Bat Tribe throughout the years, right? Because Batman goes, you know, the whole thing, fucking people thought Darkseid killed Batman, but he's in the back of time, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Batman basically creates his own origin by going through time and shit, and, you know, his actions in the past creates the Bat Tribe. They then uh, later adopt the name the Miyagami Tribe or whatever. And the Miyagami basically are just like, you know, people of the Bat Tribe in like a little secret society and shit. And then Bruce Wayne's mother was, uh, I believe she was part of the Miyagami. And the Miyagami also uh, has to do with the uh, the founding of Gotham City. Thus, we have Miyagami Island. All right. Now, where is Azrael? I think his other sign is somewhere over here or something. I could be wrong about that, though. Or maybe he might take a little bit to show up. Is that him over there? We should get out of there. Oh no, okay. I thought that was him over there for a moment. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm not gonna look around too much for Azrael. At least not on stream. If I can't find him, I can't find him. But, you know. Kinda wanna get that done. As soon as possible. Just to get it out the way. I'm gonna take a little, a 
little detour over here and have a little look see. I don't think he would be over here. Shouldn't be. Up, oh, where are you? Up oh, there you are, you son of a bitch. Take your medicine. There you go. And that's it for Man Bat. Oh, hey, Batmobile, you've been here the whole entire time. Cash. I've Wish we did a little bit more with Man Bat, but you know, I, need you I guess that's how it goes. I'm him in. Couldn't have a cool, you know, fight in the skies or anything, you know? Same thing with Firefly, they could have done that too, but. I love how his body just flops. Alright. Let's get his ass back to the precinct. You know, before, like, it completely, like, escaped my mind. Um, before I started, like, streaming this game. Because, <laughs> I want to say, like, towards the end of the last fucking stream for this, I was just sitting there and I was like... I was like, I did this, I did this out of order. I was supposed to, I was supposed to record the, you know, Arkham, oh, what the fuck. There's still two over here. Let's get rid of those guys. I totally shot that. I don't care what anyone says. Yeah, but I was supposed to record, uh, record, really? I was supposed to record the, um, on YouTube. I was supposed to put up the, uh, Batman Arkham VR stuff before doing Arkham Knight because that takes place before this game, even though it makes no sense. I don't fucking know. There's like a moment in that game that kind of makes no sense because they don't explain it, but I guess it might have just been Batman hallucinating or some shit. I don't know. And it's not like that game's longer or anything. It's like, you know... It's like 20 minutes or something like that. And if you want a 100% or whatever, it's like maybe an hour. Because there's Riddler trophies. Oh, man. Your back is all fucked up. That's what happens when you got wings fucking sprouting out your body. Just when I think I've seen it all. He's gonna be okay. Fuck no. Physically, <laughs> yes. Where's Francine? Where, where is she? She's dead, Kirk. No. She can't be. I, I didn't. What have I done? The serum. It changed you. You lost control. Imagine Batman telling you that, but he's wearing that in front of you. You lost control. It's like Batman. <laughs> My guy, have you looked in the mirror? Can you guys get the man like some clothes or some shit? You really gotta have him in here butt ass naked in front of all the villains. And by all the villains, I mean a grand total of what, two? <laughs> How's it hanging, guys? You should have stayed away tonight, Dent. How many times have we done this, Batman? You put us behind bars only for us to escape. Your life is meaningless. A charade! Not meaningless. Satisfying. Satisfaction is short-lived. Enjoy it while you can, because the next time we meet, you die. Oh, that you just bring out the best in everyone. Really, Batman, did you have to fucking antagonize him? Even your bestest frenemies like Hog here. He's at least halfway interesting these days, and it's all thanks to you. Oh, also, I remember I was talking about uh the guy who fucking uh would hang out with Gordon and be like, We need to get the Batman, right? I was like, his name's Harvey or something, right? And then I was like, No, that's Harvey Dent. His name's Harvey Bullock. His name is also Harvey. <laughs> it's over for you, Linz. You won't stop it, Batman. The fire. 
The fire will consume Gotham. Her buildings, her people, they will all be reduced to ash. The only place for you was behind bars. Wherever you lock me away. I like Firefly. Uh, Firefly. Wow. I like Firefly better when he's like a mercenary rather than just like a crazy arsonist because he's just pretty one note that way, you know? There is always a chance. A flicker. It's like, what are you going to do today, Firefly? I'm going to burn everything. Like, okay. Look, Garfield, fire's great and all, but what about acid, electricity, pliers? Come on, open your mind, man. Man, just looking at Firefly fucking reminds me of Kite Man, and it's like the most depressing shit, because in the new 52, Kite Man is like a guy that fucking was like a, like he fucking, uh, basically he was like a double agent or something like that. You know, a snitch. <laughs> but, like, he really didn't have no choice. And then, what was it? Like, the Joker kills his fucking son or something like that. And then, Kite Man just goes, like, if Batman can fly around and be a bat, I can, I can be a kite dude. And then he's just a guy that flies around and goes, I'm Kite Man. But he's just, like, fucking crazy. <laughs> it's really sad. So he's like that because his fucking son's dead. But like, whenever they see him, he's like, what are you doing, Kite Man? He's like, I'm Kite Man. <laughs> Woo, Kite Man. Like basically, like basically fucking the version of Kite Man from like the Harley Quinn show. But if, but instead of him just being like a total dude, bro, like he's still a dude, bro. But just imagine his son is dead. <laughs> That's just it. What are you doing today, Kite Man? I'm Kite Man. I'm flying around. Flying around with a kite. Woo! All right. So what was I doing? I was trying to find Azrael, right? But oh shit! Get this guy. Where is he? Oh my god, that's so fucking far away. Take out a couple of these, and then I think we get like a message from um from the leader of the militia. Wait, what the fuck? Why didn't... No. Going to search. No. Sir, I'm sending you the location of an APC. The malicious lieutenants are running scared. Don't let up now. I want Alfred. I found the Alpha truck. All right. No. No, you will stay here. No. I will not let you go. No. No. Damn it. No. EMP didn't work. <laughs> that guy just crashed into the wall. Yeah, I did it. The malicious lieutenants are all but wiped out. I just need one more. Alright. What else are we doing? I do not know where the last... Where the last body's at. I wish I did know. Because if I did... Well, usually what I do is I, like, I glide around and I put the scanners on and I just kind of see if I can find something out of the ordinary like that you know you're supposed to fly around and listen for uh the fuck are you guys doing over there oh that's a blockade okay i'm just trying to remember uh a possible location i think i might know actually I think the body I'm looking for might be on this island. Let me see. It's gonna happen. I might need to progress the story though, I'm not sure. I don't think so though. Come on, that mobile. Because I know there's one body over here, right? There's this one. Well, it's supposed to be one over here that like hangs up somewhere around here, over here. Right? Yeah, here it is, this one. 
and this is usually the last one I find. So I'm going to think that the one I'm looking for is probably the one that's like underneath here somewhere. usually this helps. Well, that guy's getting fucked up. Is it over here? I think it's over here. Make sure you record that. Yep. Here it is. Yay, I'm smart. I did it. Alfred, I've discovered another body. Yeah. Yeah, I know you're supposed to listen for the opera music, but most of the time when I play this game, I don't do that. I'm like listening to like a fucking uh, podcast or something. Most of the time, it's probably the last podcast on the left, and I'm listening about like fucking murder details and shit because I'm crazy. But, <laughs> but yeah, I never really hear the opera music, so I usually just find it by just scanning around and shit. It's kind of the same thing with, um, with, like, looking for the hush victims and fucking, uh, what you call it? In, uh, Arkham City. Wait, what? Did I? Oh, I'm scanning something I already looked at. There we go. The victim suffered a rare genetic disorder, causing them to have six fingers on one hand. Alfred. The victim's name is Allison Weirs. She was an engineer employed at Ace Chemicals. Alfred, the victim's name is Allison Weirs, as in Weirs did he go? We need to find him. That was a great joke. I'll be here all week. Motherfuck! Is that the is that the one of the militias that I need to get? Sending you the information now. The circus of strange. Its root recently took it through all the locations where the victims went missing. Get me a list of associated names. The circus is run by a rather suspicious <laughs> fellow named Laszlo Valentin. Search for any properties owned or leased by the suspect. Records show Mr. Valentin used to lease a beauty salon here in Gotham. The lease expired shortly before construction began on Wayne International Plaza. Send through the location. It's time to end this. All right. Okay, just making sure that we didn't have another another thing Laszlo Valentine oh come on Batman do a cool flip there you go and he's right around the corner right wow that is a bright ass sign Punching through the wall, satisfying. Now, I'll be honest. I don't know uh, most. Of, I don't really know that much about this character. Which also, I want to point out. Throughout all the Arkham games, you had some mention of Victor's as Arkham Knight. Not at all. Like, especially like uh, after Arkham City, with like this, you know, the num when you gotta fucking track the phone and shit. And he's all like, I'll get you, Batman. And then, like, they don't do that for this. Which, I mean, like, I get it. Because you don't want to reuse the same fucking guy. But then, you really did nothing with this guy, either. Besides, like, you know, this one little gimmick that we're about to see. Which is more than what they do with Firefly, who has a fucking flamethrower. And, um, with another uh, villain that we'll meet soon, hopefully. Which is like, that? that's all I get from him, <laughs> right? Same thing with Man Bat. I also love how you slap that guy's junk, by the way.
pig would like a sandwich. I would like a sandwich as well. That's it, my darling. Show him how perfect you are. Oh! Really, Batman? You didn't have to hit him that hard. Oh, boy just got off of the fucking slab getting cut up. First thing you do is backhand him. You gonna... You gonna... You gonna, you gonna get up? You're, you're supposed to... You're supposed to get up. You're, I guess I'll... Okay. I had to turn around for a moment. It's like they're immune to pain. I need to make sure they stay down. Ugh. I will say I do like that they, uh, you know, took the time to animate them like dolls well you know more like lifeless automatons which is the whole point oh I couldn't do a takedown Down again, shit. Will the battering take you out? I wonder. No. Combat battering will not take you out. Pig's gonna fucking hide over there and he's gonna start throwing these at you. You do that to put him out of commission. For a bit. Really, Batman? You didn't have to throw him across the room with a suplex. Oh, fuck. I'm surprised I even saw that. Ah! You got a good hit on me. Wow, that counted as a hit? Jesus. Ow! You're fast on the bitch. Okay, that one, that I was honestly too slow for that. Can you guys commit to your fucking attacks when you go to attack me? With this faint bullshit? It's fucking up my combos. Unnecessary. Fucking cut me. <laughs> there we go. I can't leave until I've rescued the other victims. Until you rescue Oh, these guys. Alright, calm down. Why the fuck are you guys even in here? Shouldn't you have evacuated? I think this is the only time that you actually see civilians in here <laughs> in this whole entire game. 
All right, guys. I'll leave you to your own devices. While I take him away. Taking me. Oh. Go back to make sure I record house. this. I'm taking you where so you I don't forget where it's at. Else. I'll make sure of it. Pig doesn't hurt. Pig heals. Pig fixes. My Dolatron's works. Make sure I remember where this is at too. You gotta look at the blockades that are pig makes life that are like, you know. And the ones you murder under the fucking ground because later on when you're What's up, bitches? <laughs> Calm down, pig. I got you. Hey, Judge, how you doing? Hope you're having a lovely day today. Or night. I need to take Valentine to the GCPD lockup. Oh my god, I can't get the GCPD lockup. I can't get outside the fucking Batmobile. But I need to deactivate this. Ah, fuck. Well, I'll come back for it later. Maybe they'll put it back up. Who knows? Wow, that was a terrible turn. Dude, I forgot it. He was like, if I wasn't paying attention to the subtitles, I forgot that it's even Scarecrow talking. Like, it, it just sounds like Hugo Strange. Is it the same voice actor? You're gonna lose eventually. I would, you know, I wouldn't put it past them, right? But it just sounds like, you know, Hugo Strange fucking just talking over Arkham City. By the way, Hugo Strange had to have been like the biggest letdown, right? Like, I love Arkham City, but they should have. They should have fucking done something else. <laughs> Fuck it. You know. Played Batman at Arkham Knight and got 240 on two different saves. This is probably my fourth time 100 percenting this game. Because I did it first for a, for a trophy, right? Then I did it on a second account because I was changing my accounts, right? Then later on, just for fun, I guess, I 100%ed it again. And then I had to restart. I had to do a new file because you can't fucking, you can't, uh, whatchamacallit. You can't just like restart from New Game Plus in this. You have to make a new file, beat the game again, and then unlock New Game Plus again, which is so fucking annoying. I don't know why they made it like that. Like, why isn't there just a button that's like, oh, restart New Game Plus? Cool. So I already went uh, off screen. I already went and collect all the Riddler shit, so we don't have to worry about that throughout this playthrough. Because I don't want to make you guys sit through that. Jack Ryder, are you still in here? Did you get grabbed up yet? Got my hands on Tell me what you're doing. Sounds bad out there, Batman. Rather you than me. Agreed. I'm guessing you've encountered a few religious cults in your time. What's your take on them? They prey on the weak and the vulnerable. Yeah, that's usually Tell how that works. Wife, lawyer. Whatever you're up to, stop. Me, Oop, I didn't mean to press the skip button. My bad. My heart. Tape 25, October 30th. Got my hands on this forensic report. Human sacrifice. It's real. They're really happening. Dude, there's still human sacrifices that happen to this fucking day. People are crazy, man. John Doe's. Alright. I wish they were, uh... I wish they were better when it comes to um, giving you the intel for the side quest shit in this game. Speaking of intel, Nightwing, what the fuck are you doing? Oh my god. Really? 
And there's only like, oh, there's two more, I guess. Well, really only one more, all right? And I gotta find Azrael for a third time, and we can now get to the last one of these. Which is good. All right, I'm gonna fly there. And the moment I fly there, fucking Alfred tells me no. Yeah, because they're annoying even in Arkham City because you get four. Yeah, Arkham City's the fucking. Oh my god! So, for those who don't know, right? Uh, I have done 100% playthroughs on all the Arkham games. You know, not. Well, I can't say all of them because, uh, you know, I refuse to play Blackgate and whatever the fuck that garbage mobile game is. What is it? Arkham City fucking lockdown or some dumb shit? I don't know. But, um. You know, I did uh, streams and playthroughs on the other Arkham games. Those are on my YouTube channel right there on the screen. Right? And I did 100% on all of them. But yeah, fucking... Oh my god, doing the Riddler trophies made me feel brain dead in fucking city. Not only that, but like, in Arkham Origins, that playthrough was the first time I ever really 100 percent at that game. And holy shit, you don't even get anything satisfying for like... For like the fucking Riddler shit in Origins. Like at least in Asylum or whatever, there wasn't that many. So when you beat Riddler, he, you just hear him getting fucked up <laughs> in his microphone. Like like he's a fucking Xbox kid or something. Whose parent walked in the room because he's playing Call of Duty at midnight or something. They're like, get the fuck off the game, no! <laughs> right? Um. And like even Arkham City, you go, and, you go and you fucking do the hostage stuff and you take him out. Arkham Origins... You collect all the data, and then he's all like, congratulations, you collected all the data. Well, I'm leaving, and then Batman goes, I'll get you one day, Nigma." and then fucking... He's like, I'll fuck you up one day, my Nigma." <laughs> and he fucking... And then he just pieces out, and it's like, what the fuck was the point of this? It's so annoying. Like, you got nothing for it. Like, I thought there would have been, like, maybe a boss fight or something that I never did before, right? Especially because I think, I think Origins has the best boss fights in the series. But, like, fuck, man, nothing? Really? Like, that was such a fucking letdown. Like, it made me really upset. Like, I sat down, I was like, this was literally a waste of fucking time. How much more health you got left? Probably got like three more hits in you, right? Oh, one more hit. Oh man, that did a lot of damage actually. More than I thought. There we go. Now that you're taken out, hopefully I'll get a message from someone. Alfred, the last APC. It's gone. I'm picking up scattered comms. It's just as we thought the militia are in disarray. Well done, sir. Sterling effort. Come on, call me. Call me on my cell phone. I guess not. I guess catching the militia does. Ah, oh, fuck. I guess catching the militia does nothing. Well, anyways, fuck it. I'm gonna spoil the surprise, cause fuck it. Deathstroke calls you, and he's like, "I'm the leader of the militia. Remember me?" Ha ha. And that's pretty much it. And then uh, you don't even fight him, and fuck it. You do a fucking stupid tank battle, <laughs> right? <laughs> you don't even fight him in this game, which is so dumb. Talking about boss fights, which one is your favorite in all the games? Origins. Oh, wait, you mean like in general? Oh, like which boss fight is the favorite? Uh. Ooh. Well, first of all, none of the ones in Asylum, just straight up. Let's, let's just be honest there. Fucking, I love Asylum. That's probably my favorite game in the series because it's just very like, when I play it, it, it makes me feel calm. Um, But like, boss fights are fucking garbage and they're all the same. Um, let's see. Yeah, we can do some regular shit. You know? But, um, hmm. A part of me wants to say Copperhead, but if I'm going to be honest, like, Copperhead is, I mean, it's nothing really different. 
you're just fighting a bunch of goons, but they're all copperhead. But for some reason, I really like it. I don't know why. Uh, Firefly and Origins, that one's probably the most cinematic out of, like, all the fucking fights in, like, the series. Uh, Hmm. I really don't know now that I think about it. Which one is my overall favorite? Clayface is pretty interesting too, but it's not really that crazy. I'm gonna go with Firefly. I'm gonna go with Firefly from Origins. I'm gonna go with Firefly. Yeah, I think that's a good pick. Yeah. Solomon Grundy's cool too, but I mean like you don't really do much besides put the explosive gel down. Right? I'm hoping that I can find Azrael while I'm on my way to fucking... To, a uh, Riddler? Because I... I'm gonna be honest, I don't know where Azrael's last... Well, not last, his, uh, third location is. Wait, what? What? What am I getting aimed at? Like, I could have sworn Azrael's, like, their location is, like, off to the side somewhere. But I'm not sure. And I don't want to do the Season of Infamy stuff yet. Because those are pretty cool. You know what? Fuck it. Mm. I don't know. Fuck it. Mm. Mr. Freeze is good, too. Right? Deathstroke is fun. That was more fun than I thought it would be. When I, uh went back to Origins because I was doing it on the hardest difficulty and that was entertaining. Yeah, but in Arkham Knight, Deathstroke is such a fucking letdown. Like, I don't, like, I don't know why. I don't know why they did that. Like, you upgraded Batman's fucking whole entire repertoire. Is that the word I want to use? Repertoire? Like, you upgraded his whole entire thing. Like, his fucking battle mechanics and shit. In, in, in Arkham Knight and you don't use them in any of the fights, I think. Like, I'm really trying to think right now. I guess besides Killer Croc, like, you kind of fight Killer Croc here, but you don't... But it's the same as, like, all the other takedown shit. Right? I don't know, Batman has, like, fucking... I don't know why they don't know how to design good fights in the fucking Batman games. I really don't know why. It, it's kind of disappointing, actually. Alright, well, where's Riddler at? Because I don't... I don't see fucking... I don't see Azrael's flaming signs of courage. <laughs> I wish I knew where it was at, but I'll look for it later. What do you do for freeze in this game, by the way? For Season of Infamy? Oh. By the way, let me see if I'm in. Am I in the right spot? Because I do want to show something off real quick. Ah, oh, fuck you. <laughs> I was hoping my fucking Batmobile would show up fast enough. All right. Because there are some annoying things when it comes to hunting the Riddler trophies in this, and I did want to show something off just for people who are having a hard time, but I just don't remember where it's at right now. But there's like a Riddler trophy somewhere over here that you go in like a nice little crevice area or something. Basically like you, you like hop over a fence and then you go through a door and then in that door it's like the answer to a riddle for Solomon Grundy because there's like a fucking like saxophone thing playing or something. I don't fucking know. Saxophone? Homophone? Homophone? <laughs> I hate English. It's an old record player or something like that. It's not a saxophone. I don't even know why the fuck I said that. But yeah, you find that in like a little room somewhere around here. Which, is it over here? No. I wanted to show where it was at, but hmm, I, I can't remember for the life of me. Also, let me record where this is at. If I didn't already. So I can come back and get that on my own time. Uh, Riddler. Where's your bullshit? Is it here? I feel like it's here. Let's see. 
from two combat experts giving all their best in a fight to the same team. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's like you guys fought in Origins, and he's all like, I'll get you again, Batman. And then he pulls out a tank. Not even like a good tank either. It's just basically a, a redo of the Cloudburst shit, but it's not even as good. I don't know why they did that for Deathstroke. I really don't. Oh, you know what? I figured it out. I know my best fucking boss fight in all of the Arkham series is. You ready for this? It's the fucking Electrocutioner. Best boss fight ever. I love it. You can't beat that one. Can't beat that fight. It's too good. It's fun every time you do it. Every time you do that fight, it puts a smile on your face. Oh my god, I thought my game like froze for a moment. Oh, it made me like really upset. Oh, okay, he lowers the water. I'm sitting there, I'm like, I'm like, how the fuck do I lower the water again? He does it. Alright, there we go. Get, get, use the wrench. There we go. Well done, detective. I think you're getting the hang of it. Me too, man. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Down there, Batman. There we go. Hanging there in that hideous machine, like a particularly ugly chandelier. I'm gonna be honest, I don't like any of the fucking bat wrench fucking platform shit that they do in this game. If I'd rig that grapple point to detach, you could be dead in a moment. Oh, wrong way. What the fuck is hitting me? Oh, go down, Batman. Go down. Why are you going up? There we go. I'm like pushing down on the analog stick and he's all like, you mean up? I'm like, no, you fucking moron. I'm definitely gonna get killed when I go up though. Oh shit. Oh, damn it. Thought I could do a takedown on it. There we go. I wanted you to destroy the robot. I did. I did it. It's all part of my immaculately constructed master plan. So there, Oh shit. <laughs> I did it! I actually did it! I mean, of course I did. Good. As expected. That was a great cutaway, the way that happened. That was amazing. I lost control for a moment. <laughs> Alright. Oh, come on, Batman. Why are you aiming that way? Get out the electricity, please. Oh, I used two batarangs. Damn it. Come on, get over here. There we go. I wanted you to destroy the robot. I did. I did. It's all part of my immaculately constructed master plan. So there. All right. You're definitely gonna get hurt if I'm definitely gonna get hurt if I go up here. Oh shit. Oh shit. Just keep going. Don't think about it. Just keep going. You being the expired hunk of stale meat inside. 
All right, and then I got to come over here because that's not lined up good. Is that lined up? No, it's not. Come on. There we go. Where is it? I gotta move it. Is that good? Oh, wait. I have to move it this way, though. Yes. Okay. And then this, I have to move all the way, I think. Where's number three? Okay, it is all the way. Just making sure. Why did why didn't you slot in? Clearly an extension of your ego. I thought you'd take better care of it. Shut the hell up, Riddler. Alright, now we're good. Nice and slow. There we go. Don't worry, cat woman, baby. I'm coming to save you. Let's see. <laughs> All right. Hey, Eddie. Can't we play a different game? This one's getting old. Am I looking at this from the right angle? Yes, I am. Can you trust him, cat woman? Can you trust him? All right, got it. Remember, Selena, if your head blows up, it's not my fault. You just didn't listen to my directions. Batman hurts his legs, dies, and gets shredded by the mini-gun. He feels okay? Yeah, I know, right? It's like a Call of Duty game, right? It's like, headshot, takes three shots. <laughs> Meanwhile, he gets shot in the foot, and it's like, he's down! Another door unlocked. What a surprise. All right. Can I just leave without? Oh, wait, no, I can't leave without the bell. No! <laughs> Your death was inevitable, I'm afraid. The moment I shot that fucking grappling hook, I was like, that's a bad angle. Oops. We're just gonna pretend that that didn't happen, okay? Like, are his legs just made of muscle? Have you not seen that, uh, there's like one comic panel where like, it's, it shows Batman like from a, you know, just a head-on angle, and his thighs are like the thickest thing known to mankind, like they, like you know what like a, a horse jockey looks like from like Britain or something where they have like those big ass fucking, you know, wait what? I gotta go and get the goddamn key again. But you know how, like, horse jockeys have, like, those pants where, like, fucking... They look like MC Hammer pants from, like, the sides? Like, Batman's thighs just look like that. <laughs> like, in one of the panels for the comic. Hey, Eddie. It's fucking hilarious. Let me play a different game. This one's getting old. 
it's this one right here the one literally right in front of you selena here's hoping eddie hasn't started cheating hope your head doesn't blow off Here we go. Say black cats are bad luck. Black cats are fucking cool Another as shit. Tea. Well done. Of course, you'll lose mm. all nine lives in an instant should I push this detonator. Another door unlocked. What a surprise. Just doing cartwheels for fun. All right. Time to get the hell out of here and go help out Catwoman. Oh man. By the way, when I was getting ready for the stream, I was looking at uh, I was looking at the PlayStation Store, and I was like, "Fucking!" I was like, "I wonder what games came out because I haven't touched my, you know, I haven't touched my fucking <laughs> my PS5 in like a long time." So I was like, "I wonder what games came out." Because I haven't touched my PS5 in a long time, and I've been fucking around in VR chat for the past two weeks. Which is why I, I put the headset down. I'm like, I gotta take a break. I can't go into VR chat anymore. I hang out there too long. And then, like, the whole day goes away. But, um... But, like... There's, like, two games that came out. I Fuck, I'm trying to remember the names. Of it. One of them is Solstice, right? And the other one is... Uh, Steel Ring or some shit? I forgot what it's called. Uh, but basically they're both like Souls-like games and I'm like, man, they came out like really close to each other. And then there's like, you can get an early access to what, what's it called Valkyrie something, which might be a sequel to Val Valkyrie, um, whatever the fuck game by Square Enix is. Valkyrie Chronicles? Maybe? I'm not sure. In Russia, Black Cats are considered bad luck and I don't know why. I mean, they're considered bad luck here too, in the US, right? They're, uh, they're closely, um, associated with witches. With witches. They're supposed to be their familiars. And, like, you know, apparently the familiar of the witch is supposed to suckle upon her breasts for nourishment or suck the blood from her finger or something like that. And no, I am not making this up. This is literally, like, fucking... <laughs> like, this is how it was in the olden days, right? During, like, all the Salem witch hunts and shit, they're like, oh, the... Your familiars, your rats, and your cats, they suckle upon the witch for sustenance. And I'm just like, ugh. I want a bit of a suckle. Uh, fucking. We're going to help Catwoman, right? That's what we're doing. Selena's still trapped at the orphanage. Together, we'll get her out. Don't worry, Selena. I'm coming to help you, baby. I also got to find out where the fuck Azrael is. I don't know where he's at. Oh, by the way, let me ask you guys. You guys got any, like, horror movie recommendations? I'm trying to see if I can do something for the YouTube channel on Halloween that involves the horror movies. And I need some recommends, right? Try and go for like obscure ones, you know? Not obscure, but you know, kinda like you know, not nothing like fucking man, you should watch Friday the thirteenth and it's like, yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> right? Selena, I am here for you. You're back. I said I'd get you out of here. Again, you have a chair, lady. I don't know why you laying on the fucking an electric floor. Before my head explodes. There might be a Winnie the Pooh horror movie. Oh yeah, I heard about that. It's called Blood and Honey. Does that come out well, this October? I guess, right? I don't think... Well, I like it's gonna. I feel like I look at the Wayne the Pooh horror thing, and first of all, the thing like I get 
I get that they're doing it because they can, and since, you know, the uh, original Winnie the Pooh, whatchamacallit, rights are now free domain, uh, like, they can do it. But you look at it, and it's like, it's like Winnie and, it's like Winnie the Pooh and fucking, and, and uh, Piglet are now out for blood because Christopher Robin left them or some shit. And, like, it's like, okay, but why does, that doesn't explain why Winnie the Pooh and Piglet suddenly have human bodies. <laughs> right? Shouldn't they be like, shouldn't they still be like animalistic? It's like, or did you just not have, you know, the budget for that? Alright, cat. Alright, bat. Alright, cat. What you got? Wait, that cat. One, two, one, two, one, two. Okay. One, two, one, two, one. What else was it? Two. Aw, oh, shit. Now we got some fresh Prince of Bel Air shit going on right here. Now, where are you in relation to this Batman? Okay, you were there. So, up to. Right up to? Yeah. Up to. Right three, up one. So, up to. Right three, up one. Okay, what do we got for you, Selena? Where the hell are you at? In relation. Fourth up one. So, up one fourth. Okay, you're right there. So, to the right two, up three, left one. To the right two, up three. What, wait, what the fuck? Did I read that correctly? No, the fuck I did not. Okay, right up three, left. So, one, two, three, boom. All right, what we got for you, Batman? Where the hell are you at? Four or five, that's where you're at. So four or five. One, two, three. Okay. So yeah, just boom, boom. Done on this side. And then for you, Selena, you. Where the fuck are you? Fuck it. <laughs> Who cares? Fuck your riddles. Congratulations. And now your reward. Really, Batman? You fuck You fucked up my combo, you son of a bitch. I can't even Okay, I guess in nightmare difficulty you can't even fucking you can't even counter the ones that not your color. I guess that's what's going on here. There we go. Find the key, take the key. I suppose you just about earned it. Just about earned it. It's my key. Where is it? All right. What do we got left, Batman? We got one more. Do I got to go and do some bullshit for it or can we just walk through the door? Eddie, how much longer is this going to take? I gotta do some bullshit for it, don't I? Well, how clever the pair of you must feel. How smug 
Well, I hate to intrude upon this miserable little moment of victory, victory. but I wanted you to be aware you're very unlikely to see one another again. Catwoman, the Batman will fail you, because waiting for him beneath Ranalaw Ferry Terminal is my greatest trial. This is what I do to pass the time. Batman, are we? Don't let what Riddler said. Are we in love? Yes, we are, my lady. He's an idiot who built a series of underground death traps across the city. And? And I just. Bye, Selena. Stop talking to me. You left me at the altar. I'm still salty. This is your chance with Catwoman, Batsy. She's vulnerable, trapped in an abandoned orphanage. That sure spells romance to me. Speaking of which, I went back to the afterlife to check on Talia. And, uh, well, we got to talking about how you basically murdered us both. She stopped there is crying. laughing in the background whenever Joker appears. Wow, that is like really subtle and I didn't realize it until now because I think this is the first time I ever played this game with fucking headphones on. Thing is, Tally and I just want you to be happy. I tell the little pussycat how you feel while you still can, Batsy. Because when I take over your body and lock you away in a tiny little corner of your mind, I'll kill her first. Which character is the most annoying out of Batman? Ooh. I also like to point out that again, over time, Joker gets better, <laughs> right? His scars are starting to heal. You want to know how I got these scars? Um, most annoying character in Batman. Yikes. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna assume that we're just ruling out like Bat Might and Robin Might and all that other fucking dumb shit, right? Because those guys literally exist just to be annoying. Um, I really want to say any member of the Bat Family. I kind of like all the members of the Bat Family, like even what Stephanie was Brown and shit. Then, when it was a help, like I know so there's some people who don't like Stephanie Brown for some reason. Um, yeah, I don't. I'm trying to think, is there like a character that ever shows up and I just sit here and I go, "Oh my fucking god, get off the screen," right? Um. I don't going to really search for as we are burning that symbol and continue. I don't really know, symbol. actually. Like I'm really trying to think of one, but like most villains are pretty good. Like I know, like, I'm be honest, I don't like Hugo Strange that much, but I still don't think he's annoying. There's still some cool shit that happens. Right? <laughs> like that one time where he <laughs> Like that one time where he made a suicide suit. Just so that Batman couldn't beat him, and he's all like, he's like, I made this suit, Batman. If you punch me just once, I instantly die. And then, <laughs> you're lucky fucking Jason Todd didn't roll up and say, fuck this. <laughs> right? I call it a suicide suit, you fucking idiot. Um, God. He's like, I made myself a one-hit kill. <laughs> so fucking dumb. Uh, for me, it's Riddler. Um, in terms of the video games, like, fuck, yeah, because those trophies are annoying. But then again, I don't really think Riddler's annoying to me as his character. I think it's just, a f you know, the developers being a dickhead, right? It's kind of like when people are like, I hate Ashley in Resident Evil 4. And it's like, you don't hate Ashley. You hate that she's a fucking, you hate the fact that you have to babysit her most of the time. But even then, she's barely in the way, so... Like, Ashley as a character isn't that bad. Leon! <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Ashley! I'm fighting like three different Granados here, man! Um. Yeah, no, I don't really. I was a firefighter or something. Where you at? I'll record that. I'll help you later. Off screen. <laughs> And then Batman saved them all. Uh, shit. I don't really... Like, if I'm talking about the games or whatever, I would probably say, like, the first time you fight Bane in Origins because he has, like, this weird auto-tracking shit when you fight him. Like, he, he turns on a fucking dime. And that shit's just annoying. But, as a character himself, he's not really annoying. So, 
I don't fucking, I really don't know, honestly. Azra, where the fuck are you? I'm really mad that I don't even know where you're at right now. Because I kind of just want to finish your shit if I can. Speaking of finishing shit, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you Penguins trucks. Have you managed to locate any in the city? Give doing a Nightwing? A chance, Bruce. All right, there's a lot of ground to cover here. Give me a chance, Bruce. There's a lot of ground to cover. Hmm. Shut up. <laughs> He's in Chinatown? The third time around? He's in Chinatown. Where the fuck is Chinatown? Oh. Okay. Thank you. I will go look for him later. Maybe I have to like progress the story a little bit or something like that. <laughs> and still you struggle on. Your bravery inspires. Yet the harder you fight, hmm, where at in Chinatown? My eventual victory will be. I feel like he's supposed to be like on one of these buildings to the side over here or some shit. Let me perch up here real quick. Maybe I can Is there anywhere left that ain't been looted? Look around real quick. Well, I found a fucking <laughs> found someone I wasn't looking for. Right? Hey, I can't wait till Scarecrow releases that crap. Life was starting to get Like where at on the map? Like is it more to the to the left or something? There's the clock tower. Yeah, this is all Chinatown here. Yeah. Alright. Oh, also, I want to point something out because I'm going to start doing this for, like, the YouTube real quick when I fucking upload uh, these, um, streams. I'm going to try and get the audio right around the first time because sometimes games have different audio and shit like that and you have to like fuck around with that for a bit. But um but I'm just going to upload the streams as like raw files instead of like rendering them out and stuff like that because honestly, it takes a lot of time, right? He's in the middle of Chinatown. He's on the checkered floor. Okay, the middle of Chinatown. On the checkered floor. I would imagine that would be like over here, but I guess not. Alright, well, I'll head up on the uh, clock tower real quick. I'll get like a good view from there. For the middle of Chinatown. On a checkered floor. Does checkers still exist, by the way? Like the f like the fast food place? Like, are, are they still doing shit? <laughs> right? Or are they going under, right? Because I feel like Checkers is kind of like... I'm not even sure if it's only an East Coast thing. But, like, I feel like Checkers is kind of like... Kind of like Arby's, where it's like, hey, wait, you know it exists, but nobody's really right, eating there. Toe -toe. <laughs> not that much, anyways. Alright, on a checkered floor in the middle of China. Am I facing the right way? I should be. Yup. Let's just scan around a bit. Maybe detective mode might help me a little bit. Find like a soul skeleton. Yep. I love you, Detective Mode. Hi, Azriel. Challenge me again, Batman. I am ready. All right, I got this. Oh, this shouldn't be too bad. Never mind. Tough now, are you? What? 
Shouldn't the electrocution, like, you turn that off? Fail the challenge and me. <laughs> you failed the challenge and Keep me. Trying. All right. Alright, let me get you out the equation. There we go. What the fuck? Why are you still... How do I turn off your bullshit? Have to use the bat claw. Oh. I could have sworn it was the electrocution shit. There we go. Because I thought like electricity like overcharges it or some shit like that. That's usually how I take them out. Maybe they like just hit their head on the wall or something and die. Oh, you know who's more annoying than Riddler? Like in terms of just like the Batman mythos, like all together? Clue Master. <laughs> the puzzler, Clue Master, whatever the fuck. Isn't Stephanie, yeah, Stephanie Brown's like the fucking child of Clue Master, right? And he like tries to kill her or some shit. And Batman saves her and he's like, you can be a Robin too. And then she goes by the name of Spoiler, but then half of the time... Stephanie Brown kind of pisses me off, too, a little bit, now I think about it. Because, uh... There are so many times in the comics where, like, they will be uh, surrounded by, like, a million thugs or something, and then she'll just take her fucking, like, mask off. <laughs> and everyone can just see what she looks like, but no one cares. Like, she does it way too many fucking times, and no one cares about it for some reason. like what the hell I'm like I'm like she's also like the only member of the bat family that doesn't have like a fuck that has like kind of a mask that can just like fly off any second because it's literally just like a scarf around her face <laughs> it's like stop taking that off Stephanie stop doing that all right now Azrael's in like the, he's on the statue or whatever, right? So let's go do that. Finish Azrael's bullshit. And then I think if I progress the story a little bit more, that's when Deacon Black shows up. Which, I don't know why they decided to use Deacon Black at all. Azrael! Hi there, buddy. Are you ready to become the Batman? Even though you've done it before? When Bane broke the shit out of Batman, and then you became Batman for a hot minute? And then after that, your popularity went down, so then they just forgot about you and tried to make you relevant for like 50 plus years now? Or some shit? Uh oh, I fucked that up. I knew I fucked it up before it even hit me. Because I let go of it. Batman, shut up. You can't even do this shit. I mean, you can, but still. Like, you're only as good as my ability allows you to be.
what? I held down the button for that one. Come on. Uh, for the penguin side missions, you don't have to get out of the where. Uh, wait, what? You don't even get out the warehouse. That only has a trail on one of the trucks. Wait, what? Oh, you don't even get out of the warehouse. Really? How do you get that to fucking go? Oh, shit. I didn't mean to press that button. How do you get that to fucking proc? It is not your time, Azrael. I hope when you try again, you are better. Shut the fuck up, Batman. I didn't mean to do that. That was by accident. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> he's just sitting there and he's like, I found one, Batman. And you're like, what? You didn't even leave. He's like, I know, right? I'm just that good. It's the toughest yet. It's the toughest yet. Even I haven't beaten it. I love how in the future Tim Drake's become so good as Batman that he can just fucking take on Doomsday by himself. <laughs> Sounds stupid, right? But it happened. He's like fucking he's like he's like Batwoman betrays us. Dick Grayson fucking he gives up being Batman because he just doesn't want to be Batman. Really, motherfucker? He just doesn't, want, doesn't want to be Batman. Jason Todd goes a little too hard, loses a fucking eye and a leg. <laughs> and Damian Wayne almost burns the city down being Batman. <laughs> so that just left me. And I'm a damn good Batman, but I hate being Batman. It sucks. He's like, life sucks as Batman, dude. I don't want to be Batman. You motherfuckers don't move with like a good enough rhythm to like keep my combo up, which really pisses me off. Uh oh, I almost fucked that up royally. Maybe he found multiple trucks and then tells Batman where they are when they finish blowing up one. You are to be commended, Azrael. You have passed the test. I will contact you when I have made my decision. There is no decision to make, Batman. I am ready now. I decide how this works, not you. Every moment you waste, Gotham falls deeper into the abyss. Make your decision fast, or she will be lost forever. You know, Azrael, it's not really a smart move to walk up to the guy and go like, yo, I want the job, and he goes like, all right, here's the application, and then you make it fucking far in. And during the interview, you go like, man, you're doing your job poorly. I can do a better one. <laughs> I remember one of my first weeks, I fucking like... That must have been when he was recruited by the Order of Santa Like, the guy that hired me, he was doing payroll, right? And I didn't know that he was doing payroll. So fucking, I just, like, I was talking to him and I was just like... I was like, man, whoever's doing payroll don't know what the fuck they were doing. Right? <laughs> And then he just sat there and nodded his head. He was like, okay, right? <laughs> and then I told someone else, I was like, yeah, I was telling so-and-so that, like, man, the payroll was, like, really fucked up. They're like, no, you didn't say that to him. I'm like, yeah, I did. Why? They're like, you know, he does the payroll, right? And I was like, oh. <laughs> but my payroll never got fucked up anymore after that. So, you know, I got what I wanted. We'll find in Azrael's brain, that fear. Who knows? Maybe there's an evil court jester in there. <laughs> I love how this is the brother eye computer, but like they never say anything about it. I'm no neurologist, sir, but I can quite confidently assert that doesn't look like it belongs in one's brain. It's a surgically implanted microprocessor interfacing. With Alfred's just sitting here looking at Azrael's brain. He's all like, yo, what's this gigabrain shit I'm looking at? Memories. Which memories, sir? Visualizing My guy out here looking like Jimmy Neutron, having a brain blast. Defender of faith, defender of purity. The Order of San Dumas has safeguarded Gotham for over 500 years. <laughs> the Order of Saint Dumas. <laughs> Saint Dumas. 
studied the Dark Knight for years, learning his every strategy, analyzing his every tactic. Look at those super obvious fucking like mind control symbols in his brain. It's like some fucking like Assassin's Creed Animus type shit. Only when you have won the Batman's trust. <laughs> the cloud burst from it does look like a brain blast. You know what? It does. It has that exact fucking texture to it too. Oh, it's so gross. Are you suggesting these recollections have been tampered with? I am. Alfred, I know this symbol That's another playthrough I did on my fucking channel. Jimmy Newton Attack of the Twonky. Attack of the Twonkies. That's a good game. That is a good game. If I can find the other markers, I'll be able to reconstruct the waveform and reveal the message. Man, there's a bunch of let's plays I want to do on my channel, but like I just never have any time for it. Let's find some fucked up religious shit. There we go. Scanning that marker has reconstructed part of the wave. Oh, by the way, can someone please explain to me what the fuck like this Assassin's Creed shit they're doing is right now because they announced like what five different Assassin's Creed things like are they mobile games or is it like one big game with expansions or some shit like what, what are they doing there because it's the Japanese one then it's like Assassin's Creed Helix and then there's like some other bullshit they fucking announced no no I haven't really played any Assassin's Creed recently How the mighty have fallen, right? Almost there. Felon, fallen, this however the fuck you say it. Whatever. I'm not a fucking scholar. I don't know what I'm talking about. Don't listen to me. I'm stupid. That's it. The waveform is complete. This should reveal the message. The Dark Knight. Stands in the way of our cause. He prevents the evil of Gotham from facing true divine justice. When you have proven yourself, wait for your moment and then strike him down. Take your rightful place as Gotham's new guardian. A guardian wholly willing and relentless in his quest to protect this city. They certainly don't mince their words, do they, Master Bruce? How will you stop him? He won't. Lane. Lane is dead. I am Azrael, knight to the Order of San Dumas. The Order has lied to you, stolen your free will. They couldn't have lied to me. Liar. They you made me chop my pinky off or justice. whatever to put this We're crazy head and dagger on my wrist. No. No. I know who I am. I know what I am doing. In that case, the choice is yours. Protector of faith, you know what must be done. I love how Batman just has the, the sacred Knight sword just sitting in faith. here. It's not even Batman that has it. This is where Barbara lives, by the way. The just has the sacred sword sitting there for some reason. It's I don't know why, but you do. Man, you even carry the sword like a badass. Got that big shoulder fucking walk going up. He stands in your way. Gotham will be yours. You will die by my hand tonight, Batman. Strike down the Batman. Kill you. I'm not going to kill you, Batman. You're my bro. The instrument of God, not the tool of man. Even if you try to kill him, Batman just completely pieces up fucking Azrael. Right? So there's really no reason in doing it. You made the right decision. Also, Azrael is part of the Bat family now in the comics. So why not? Right? The order must answer for what they have done to me. Azrael's cool. All right. Let's see what else do we have to do? We didn't do that much story shit. 
uh, this stream mostly just like side quest shit, right? But we needed to do that, right? We need to get some of that shit out the way. So next stream, right? Let me see. What, let me even see what time is it right now. I was like, Ranala Ferry Terminal. Okay, Riddler. This game ends. Yeah, that's now. definitely it for me. Um, so next stream, definitely gonna probably be able to do some more penguin shit, you know, because there's only like one more cache that we need to get right, and then, you know, I'll go I'll go find these guys off screen. I'll take out these off screen because they're not really interesting to watch. The only things interesting to watch are like these because these take like two seconds to take out for the most time. And it's kind of funny just like charging in there with the Batmobile, right? And then we also have the Season of Infamy shit, which all of this is interesting. So what is this one beneath the surface? Yeah, this is Killer Croc. This is Raish. Yeah. Yeah, these are all interesting. So we'll probably tackle these. And then, uh, you know... If we somehow finish all that in the next... What's up here, by the way? What's this supposed to be? Oh, this is supposed to be Deacon. Deacon Black's supposed to be up here, and then what the hell is supposed to be down here? I don't remember. Something else is supposed to be down here. Oh, and I gotta do these off-screen, too, because these are just boring to watch. Um, Yeah, but, like... What are these down here? I know one of them is Deacon Black. I don't remember what the other one is. You like doing the option of killing Batman because of the interactions and the GCPD between him and all the other villains. That is cool too, right? Oh my god. I'm speaking of interactions. I don't know when I'm gonna do it, right? It might be far off, but my god, I just I really want to stream like all the fucking Mass Effect games because god damn it, Mass Effect is cool. Especially Mass Effect 2, right? But um that's far off. That's way far off. Probably like next year or something, honestly. You know. You know, unless you guys want to subscribe to me and, like, make it possible for me to stream more. Just saying. Uh, but, uh, yeah, if we somehow do finish, like, all the story and all the shit by next stream, which we probably won't, then we'll move on to do all the DLC and stuff. Because there's still all those DLC episodes, right? And I never personally finished um, Matter of the Family or whatever, the one where you play as Batgirl. I only played, like, two seconds of it. So, and that's, like, the big one. Let's see. The other one is Hush. Thank you. I forgot because it's very forgettable. They really they really did a terrible job with that. Fucking, they really did a bad job with that one. But yeah, that's going to be it for this Batman stream. Reynolds Hopefully it was entertaining enough, right? Okay, Fucking, <laughs> I hope it was entertaining down. enough because we didn't really do most of the, of the story mode. So if I managed to make side quest entertaining, I call that one a win. So next time I stream, next time I stream, I honestly don't know because I'm not sure. I'm not sure if my schedule change is happening this week or next week, right? Thanks for the follow. I appreciate it very much. Um, I don't know if it's this week or next week, but if it is, if it's this week, then what is it like Wednesday midnight or whatever the fuck? There won't be no stream and then, uh. And then they'll just roll over to, like, Saturday night, right? You know, it'll be on the schedule. I'll figure it out or some shit. And who knows? I might just call out of work or something just to have, like, an extra night to stream because I didn't stream last week at all. So I should, you know, it'll be nice to make that up. Also, I want to just have my night where I can eat my fucking pizza and just go to sleep because I was supposed to do that tonight, but I didn't. So I'm really upset. Uh, <laughs> so that's pretty much it. Over on the YouTube, right? Uh... Again, I didn't do much last week, so I apologize for that. There's still, like, the uh, the whole virtual reality documentary thing review that I did. If you want to listen to me talk about that bullshit for, like, an hour and 20 minutes, that review went way longer than it should have. Um, but other than that, I'm going to be uploading the rest of the Evil Within playthrough, right? The rest of the Evil Within streams, and then I'm going to upload the Demon Souls streams that we did for this week so there's that and as for the regular playthroughs i'm trying to find time to do pokemon crystal but you know i might not be able to do that this week and then uh who knows i might be able to do some other shit i don't know my schedule's all fucked my job really ruined it for me but uh <laughs> but that's pretty much it 
So, I'm going to say this stream was a win. I had fun doing it. Right? And I think that's everything else I want to say, right? I got my Twitter. If you want to follow me there, I just tweet and post shit, really. Not, nothing too crazy, right? If you're someone who ever wants to send, like, fan art or something like that, you send that over to the Twitter. I'll take that, you know, in your, twi in your Twitter at and put that at the beginning of the stream where I show all the art piece and stuff. And then that's pretty much it. I don't think there's anything else I have to say. Uh, besides, I hang out in VR chat a lot. So if you see uh, my VR chat name is literally the exact same thing that it is here on Twitch. So, you know, the only thing that's not the same is the YouTube name. But yeah, if you ever see me in VR chat and you see that name right there, it's me. I'm fucking around in VR chat. I mostly play pool with like a bunch of people most of the time. Any other time I'm just, I don't know, watching movies or like fucking world hopping or some dumb shit like that. But anyways, that's it for Batman Arkham Knight tonight. And yeah, I'm going to change the fucking schedule. So look at that. And then there's, the, yeah, that's everything. My intro, my outros are long and I don't know how to end parts. I'm going back in the bat, in, in the fucking clock tower or whatever, right? Okay, so that's it. I will now disappear in the wind. As always, I want to say thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Stay happy, stay healthy, and take care.